Good morning and good evening. Depend where are you and the peace of Christ with all of us. Uh, today our topic is about something very important, but it's something kind of uh, comedy. For sure, the purpose of our program is not to insult, but we cannot hold ourselves from speaking about what is funny. You know, the Muslims, <clears throat> they speak too much about a God, and this God, he's, I mean, he's God, what you can say. But this God, the more we learn about him, the more we die laughing. And today is the same as yesterday, the same as yesterday, the same as yesterday. No Muslim have an idea what he is even worshipping. And be my witness, today is going just to be another day where Muslims have no idea. <clears throat> I never saw really a Muslim he knew what what he is worshipping, what his religion, what is Islam. They don't know. What is even Muhammad? You know, yesterday somebody said to me in Skype. <clears throat> Why you keep saying that the name of Muhammad is Qatham when you cannot prove it? The fact it's a proven. Or what the Muslim says that the mother of Muhammad, she saw a dream and she asked the grandfather of Muhammad to change the name from Qatham into uh, into Muhammad. But if we look in the Quran, we will find that this is going to be true. Obviously, the name Muhammad is something not accompany Muhammad all his life. And the proof of that, if we go in the Quran, <clears throat> we will see that Muhammad in certain time, he was calling himself Ahmad. Chapter 61 verse number six at this point of his life muhammad was not using the name muhammad but he was using the name ahmad as we see in the screen and you know names are differently written they cannot be the same they might be close by the meaning yes but it is different name so why muhammad in the quran here he called himself ahmad because simply this is not a name you know, when, when, you, when you have a title, you can use whatever word attached to it. You know what I mean? Are you getting my point? When your name is not a name, it's a title, any title close to it, it's it's possible name for you. Uh, <clears throat> Like, you know, like when you say Santa Claus, it's like a nickname, and in every country have different name for it. In French, they say Baba Noel. In English, they say Santa Claus. And different, you know, every country have different names, depending on the language. Now, here we have the same language, the same man, but yet he called himself Ahmed. Why? Because simply, this is not his name. It's the same when, <clears throat> you know, in the Bible we have God, you know, is called Elohim. God is called Jehovah. God is called uh, Yahweh. Uh, God, uh, you know, uh, you know, they have uh, many, many titles. Th those are not really names. And because they are not really names, then whatever close to it can be, can be fine. Muhammad in the hadith, he said, Malik related from uh, etc. that the Prophet said, I have five names. 
I am Muhammad, I am Ahmed, I am Al Mahi, uh, 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 I am Al Hashir, uh, uh, I am Al Aqib. But all of those are not names, those are titles. If you notice with me, why he is Muhammad and he is Ahmed? It can't be both. I mean, what, what, why you, what do you mean you're, you're, you are Muhammad and you are Ahmed? Obviously, those are names Muhammad he chose him for himself. Muhammad, he chose those names for himself to be his title. They are not his names. And Muhammad, he chose Muhammad as his as favorite name because Muhammad means the praised one, which means me, God. So Muhammad, he would prefer this name above all other names because this is the one making him God, equal to God. If you wrote, if you read with me here, I am Muhammad, I am Ahmad, which is very close. And then he say, I am Al-Mahi. <coughs> He is the one who will erase. He will erase, but this is what God do. You see, you cannot erase everything. You are not God. That's impossible. If you want to erase all the kuffar from the face of the earth, that's impossible. That's God work. You cannot do that. Even the Quran, <clears throat> even the Quran, get Muhammad busted with this. The Quran says it's not for you to guide them. It's not for you. So Muhammad here, when he said that he is the eraser, he's lying. Chapter 2, verse number 272, it says, it's not on you to guide them. It's not required of thee, O Muhammad, to set them on the right path. It's not on you. So why Muhammad saying, I am the eraser? You know what I mean? Obviously, it's a lie. But Muhammad, because he worshipped himself and he wanted to make himself equal to God, he, ch he started choosing names, and those names are funny and stupid. When Muhammad, he said, an al-aqib, what al-aqib mean? <clears throat> I am the last. Do you see it? Muhammad is the last how that can be isn't it obvious that Muhammad he is making himself equal to God Muhammad is dead now how he can be the last if the Muslim they will say that he is the last prophet even that idea is a stupid because the Quran confirm that Jesus will come back and the hadith confirm that so he cannot be the last. As long as Jesus is coming back and the Muslim believe that Jesus is a prophet, then how Muhammad can be the last? Again, Muhammad getting busted. But as usual, Muhammad, he tried to level himself to be equal to God. And this is why Muhammad, he made obedience of God is about obedient, you know, being obedience to him. However, today our topic is not really about this, but just I wanted to make introduction for those who do not know what we do here. <clears throat> the Quran is full of stories. And you, each one of them, either funny like hell, or hell like funny. And my Skype is open, and I challenge any Muslim to call me and to be proud about the stories we are going to read together. Who is a Muslim willing to give us a call? Anyone?
Nobody? Hmm. Okay. Well, you don't want to defend Islam, this is your business. More people will leave Islam anyway. <clears throat> the Muslims, they say that the Arab, when they met with Muhammad and he recited Quran for them, they were astonished. Now, the history of Islam, the Quran itself, proved that this is a big fat lie. As an example, chapter 2, verse number 39, it says the following. But those who reject faith and believe, I mean, this translation is very funny. Uh, uh, and uh, Billy, our sign, uh, Billy, our sign, uh, uh, they shall be the com companions of fire and they will stay there forever. Hmm. Why they are doing bullying to the Quran? If the Quran is amazing, how is somebody can bully the Quran? How you can make fun of the Quran? If the Quran is amazing, any Muslim have an idea? What exactly happening here? Why those people they are bullying, like making making fun of the of uh, of Islam? The Muslim they continue with their fictions saying to us that the Prophet of Allah or Allah he challenged the Arab in his time and he said to them well can you make something like this it's very funny to say that because the Arab they were saying to him your Quran as we saw so in the verse before it your Quran is a stupid and then you say to them make Quran like the stupid one I have It's like saying to me can you be stupid like me All the verses in the front of us Is a proven one thing that the Arab they make fun of Muhammad and his Quran look how many verses all of it saying sharing one thing that this is the fairy tale of the previous generations Such a sign such a, such a thing which the Quran have been promised to us and our father before They are nothing but the tales of the ancients. Do you see it? Nobody was amazed with the Quran. Nobody was astonished. Everybody was laughing, and they said to him, "This is fairy tale, as we heard it before you." And Muhammad, he could not prove them wrong. And then the drama continue. In chapter eight, verse number thirty-one, it refutes all the Muslim claim about Muhammad. He said to them, "Can you make something like this?" And the Arab, they said, "No way." But look what the Quran is saying, getting all the Abdul busted. When our signs are uh, rehearsed, which means the Quran, we say, we, we, uh, they say, we have heard this before. If we wished, we could say words like this. These are nothing but the tales of the ancient. Do you see it? So the Arab in the time of Muhammad, not only they refused Muhammad to be a prophet, not only they may they were bullying the Quran, not only they were uh, uh, you know they did not find anything of it, but they confirmed that this is nothing but the fairy tales of the previous generations. And if we want, we can make something similar. <clears throat> and actually, right now, I can make Quran better than the Quran. Yesterday I saw a rat and he was wearing a hat 
and I told him why you are fat he said hi hat hi hat I cannot tell you because I worship a lot Al Uzza is my God and I eat the God which is a drugs of Yemen and what do you know about Yemen I am from there I don't know where I was Muhammad but today I am in the there now for sure I'm mixing some English Arabic on Arabic words here we go we have Quran Quran is like this there's no meaning you know they bring somebody for you he recite the Quran with a nice voice and because the voice is nice it doesn't matter what he say even if he's singing shit shit you will like it as long especially if you don't know the language you don't know the language so whatever he say like his voice is nice why the Muslim don't bring us somebody have a voice an ugly voice to recite the Quran they will not do that if you want to see how the Quran sound like go and read Muhammad hijab when he was reciting the Quran that Allah he need a loan because hijab was trying to make the Muslims send him money after supposedly he claimed that he won the debate with David Wood which is absolutely false I wish I can play for you with his voice reciting the Quran the video is there actually I made a video about it 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 was disgusting chapter 2 verse number 245 this is what hijab was reciting to people so he can get 50,000 pound a month somebody he is a corner speaker he need 50,000 pound a month to support him I mean that's a good job who need to go and get a PhD and study and ruin his eyes and sitting in chair and doing all like studies and research just you know go speaker corner make a debate make a mockery for what the guy who is debating you and then you ask people for fifty thousand pound a month and the nurse of uh, hijab she said she said uh, because uh, we want a studio why you want a studio you are a speaker corner studio for what what do you mean studio here we go I'm doing fine do I need a studio or oh, what I need a computer a table a chair and a microphone what studio here you will notice that the scam of Islam is started from the beginning Muhammad is begging for money who is he who is he will loan to Allah a beautiful loan please my God Allah he's out of money he need to be to pay the hating bill <laughs> Allah he need a beautiful loan please who want to give Allah a loan and here where the video of uh, what this guy Krista Crocker came and says leave a Britney alone leave a Britney alone which means give her alone not leave her this is a Britney and Britney is asking for a loan God who created the universe is a crying for a loan donation donation send Allah donation Allah need a beautiful loan beautiful loan will take you to heaven and now not not only that Muhammad he became an artist art, artistic in begging for money or creating ways to make money so look what he said in different verse <clears throat> oh boy this search engine is not good hmm. All right. Look what Muhammad. How Muhammad he always he find a way, you know, to make money. خذ من أموالهم صدقة. Oh, hold on.
33 ओके Oh, who you believe. When ye consult with the messenger of Allah in the private, spend something in a charity before your private consultation. That will be the best for you. And he will purify you by doing that. If you want to speak to Muhammad in private, you have to pay Muhammad something. He is Dr. Muhammad and his clinic is open from 9 to 9. And the Quran is full of stories like that and by the way Allah accept even donations as women Muhammad he make a verses saying any Muslim woman she want to give herself to the Prophet so he can bing bing bong bong with her you know uh, tons of stories and not one of them is out of a scam. Chapter 9, verse 103. Of their goods, take arms so that you might purify and sanctify them and pray in their behalf. Have you ever heard of somebody saying that if you give me money, I will pray in your behalf and I will, like, uh, I will purify you? Sanctify them, pray in their behalf. Isn't it obvious that this is a scam? You don't need to pray no more. Just give me the money. The prophet he pray in your behalf. Just give me the money. Can you, no, no, don't. You don't know how to pray. I know how to pray. I'm a prophet. Come on. Are you a prophet? No. So you see, I told you, you are not a prophet. So Allah will never reject my prayer. Give me the money. And I will give you the honey. Right? And look, Muhammad, he made them feel guilty if they cannot pay him. And this is supposedly a charity. I mean, come on, Muhammad is just asking for a charity. But since when, if you give a charity, that will purify you and will sanctify you and somebody will pray on your behalf. Until now, we did not have one Muslim to call us so we can really start the real tsunami. Who is the Muslim would like to call us and tell us something good about Islam? Until now, why guys, why we have uh, 470 people? Seven, why? What's wrong? Oh, I forgot before I start my show to say, Inshallah. Mm, my fault. The Quran speak about a guy. Who his friend or his brother, he have 99 goat and he sleep with them. Have you ever heard of such a language? Prophets of God speaking about my wife and your wife, and they call them goats. Chapter 38, verse number 23, chapter 38, verse 24. It says, oh, this is my brother. He have 99 goat, and I have one goat. When you, when you hear this, you think what? You think they are talking about goats? Seriously, you think about it. Correct, guys? When I say to you, this is it says goat. 
aren't you going to think that this is really a goat but the fact this is not a goat this is a woman 99 women how the Quran is calling the wives goats any Muslim how many goats the Prophet Muhammad he have in his bed hmm what goat I mean the God of the Quran he could not find a better word for a wife From now on, if somebody asks me if you are single or not, I will say I have zero goat. Any Muslim would like to call us? Any Muslim like to call us? Hello? I turn my head up and down. I turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it around, and all what I can see a bunch of goats around me. Goats? I mean, at least make it, uh, make it a cow. So now, if somebody is married, his mother in law is the mother of the goats? How I'm going to call my wife now? Meh. Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Any Muslim would like to call us? And then now not even one text in Skype. Look, Skype is dead. I don't know what happened. Ah, this is a cartoon time. Hmm. I, I was surprising. I mean, now I know. They are busy. Any Abdul? <clears throat> Somebody saying to me in Skype that yesterday he was listening to Sam Shamoon and he heard that Allah he married uh, Mary the mother of Jesus to Muhammad he said he never heard this before well we spoke about it ten years ago before maybe you are born and it's in my book too um, but this is a different story let me see if we have any Muslims in Skype where is the Muslims what happened Sound fishy. Not even as not even a single Muslim from those who they are usually online are there. Everything is off. Man, what's happening? Not even a single Abdul. No, I don't see anyone. Hold on, we found somebody. Uh, oh, this is not a Muslim. Hmm. See, I'm telling you, it's not, it's not working too much. No luck.
Oh. All right. Let us read some stories together. You know, when you uh, when you learn from Muslims about Islam, they start saying to you that the Quran is telling us stories nobody heard before. But we just showed you that the Arab they keep saying to Muhammad, this is nothing but the fabulous of all generations. And that mentioned many, many times in the Quran. But the Quran is full of stories which is very stupid. And, and I'm saying literally, stupid. And nobody can defend those stories. And even the Muslims cannot explain those stories. As an example, Usually, you know, like in religious books, especially the organized one, you will find the story of something in one place, really in many, like more than two. It's organized. As an example, you know, like uh, if you want to learn about how God created the world in a simple way, you go to the book of Genesis. Other books, they might quote from the book of Genesis, but they don't repeat the same story. The Quran is a different story. The Quran is just a repeat and nothing there. But if you read chapter 18, let us hope it's a Muslim, I don't know. Hello? Okay, he hang up. If we go to chapter 18 in the Quran, we will find a very funny story. And this is a story about Musa's and a prophet, his name is Al Khudr. Musa's one day after a prayer, a person came to him, according to the Muslim resource and according to Muhammad, and he said to him, you are the most um, you are the most knowledgeable one about God, right? Musa he said, "Sure, yes, I am." Then Allah he spoke to Musa, he said to him, "No, it's not you." Musa said, "What? Who else?" He said to him, "There is a guy his name is Al-Khudr. He is one of my servants, which means a prophet." Musa says to him, "How I can see him? Where I can meet him? I want to learn from him." So Allah told Musa, no problem. I will let you attend his class so you can learn from him. Let me see if I can find the story so we can love together. Give me a second. Very beautiful story. When I say beautiful, I mean it's very good for kids. All right. <clears throat> All right. Look like here we found something. That's good. Please, guys, invite your friends. You see, I came today, and I supposedly not. I will not come today. But I said, let us do good work. Maybe we can find some Muslims who they are looking, seeking the truth, and they will leave Islam. Muhammad, as always, he is the best storyteller in his time. Let us see.
actually this is not the hadith I want let's try something else Mm-hmm. Here we go. This is the story we are talking about. Let us read together and laugh. And again, I say, let us laugh because it's funny and stupid. And I change any Muslim to say it's not. Give me a call. Show me I'm wrong. <clears throat> Hello? You there? Yes. I cannot hear you. you are live on air. I cannot hear you. Hold on. Looks like I have to do this every time. I cannot hear you. Okay, you hear me now? Do you hear me now? Hello? Hello, you there? Do you hear me now? <coughs> All right, do you hear me now? Hear me? Yes. All right. How I can help you, my friend? You are live on air. Yes. Um, did you know that if you worship other gods beside the God of Jesus, whom Jesus called him the only true God, mm. you will go to hell? Do you know that or not? Mm. Let me ask you. Do you okay. know that Jesus is the one who created the children of Adam? He did? Yeah. What do you think? So, so you mean uh, Jesus uh, created the human beings? Well, this is what I'm saying. Is it, isn't it God who created human beings? Well, this is what I'm saying. He's God. But isn't isn't Jesus a human? Well, you tell me how Jesus is a human, but yet he can create a human. Even if if even if um, no. Jesus did not create a human, did he? Okay, well, you want to take a challenge? You want to? You, you want to tell me where Jesus uh, created the human? But you want to take a challenge? Challenge for what? If Jesus, he is the one who created a human, you would accept him to be God? No, I think there is more things about being yeah, God. you see but you all are the one who created. said to me worship God beside God I mean we are worshiping only one God my friend and I mean, if, I mean, and I mean, if we can prove if we can prove that Jesus created mankind that's mean is Jesus is God no I think there's a this okay is not, according to your religion crazy. according wait, to your religion wait, hold wait, on wait, 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 wait let me let me say why I hmm. don't think that hmm. because I could imagine I could imagine hmm. God giving a a a power to mm. give him uh, a power to human beings to, to to make them create human beings create no a human being jesus create a human being in, in your religion you believe that jesus so you believe as a muslim that allah is not the only one who created the human being so we have now allah and jesus correct no i'm not saying that i'm just giving you um you see I'm, i am saying a specific thing i'm not saying the quran says that jesus is created from the mother birth i'm saying now mm. is it true yeah. that jesus yeah. created a human being did he create a human being? Human being? Mm. I don't know. He created human. Is being. it possible? Uh, is it possible uh, for you as a Muslim that someone other than Allah to create a human being? Um, if 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 God gives a a a human being mm. the power to create human beings, mm. I, I don't I don't see a problem. With that. It doesn't make them. It doesn't make that uh, person a. If God. God He gave a human being ability to create a human being, so now we have two two person creating a human being. We have God and we have Allah. So uh, this this is this is mean that the human being kind is not created by Allah only, created by someone else too. That's what you are saying now. No, no, no. 
you saying one person or saying man I am making I am making I am making it simple if there is someone else beside Allah creating a human being is that would destroy all of Islam is about and all what people believe that there is one God no I don't know I don't know if um, if um, if God would give a human being uh, as you're saying Jesus to create human beings but this is mean all the stories of Muhammad is a lie you know if if, if, if you Muslim, Muslim my friend my friend why you are why you are why you are afraid why you are afraid I'm asking you a very simple question according to your religion is it possible there is someone else created a human being either you say yes or you say no I, I don't know that's why I'm uh, don't tell me I don't know a second ago you were lecturing me about worshiping God don't worship God beside God do you know you will go to hell if you don't worship God beside God so this is the only thing you know about religion you know only not to worship any God beside God but when I ask you if if Allah is the only creator for mankind you don't know have an answer mm -hmm. according no, to your religion to, according to your religion if there is someone beside Allah created a human being it doesn't it doesn't matter actually. no it doesn't matter it doesn't for me matter. it doesn't matter it doesn't it's not matter. up to you it's not up to you because we are trying to find if Jesus is God or not so it does matter do you, do you, do you know what God is you do not know what your God is you do not know do you know okay. I, I know that I know God what is God the one who I know God who is the creator of the heavens and the earth thank you very much God okay is. is is your God the one who created everything in heaven everything in earth including a human being yes or no yes God is the one who started everything the, uh, this is not I'm not talking everything. about the starter now you see you are playing games yes. is your God yes. Allah is the one who created a human being I am saying to you, you I'm asking I'm saying one. to you is Allah the it one who created it, it, the human and why you would want to answer why you don't want to answer either you say to me either you say to me yes there is many creators beside Allah or you say no only is the only Allah is the only creator who is the creator in Islam for a the human creator, being the, the definition of the creator of God is the one who who uh, caused everything to to begin to exist that's who God is. Mm. Is that is that is but, that the God who you worship? But, or worship? but 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 still, no. First of all, your God cannot create anything. I can prove it easy. Your God said to Muhammad, "Read it three times," and still Muhammad cannot read. What has what has that got to do with? Well, him? this is a creating somebody ability to to read. Jesus, he said to the blind man, "See, he saw." Jesus said to the man, "He cannot walk." Walk, he walked. Allah, he said to Muhammad three times, "Read." He cannot read. Are you so? Are you saying that uh, a person, if he has miracles to do something, that makes them God? Here we go. You are the one who said to me he is the creator, but but uh, in the same time no. you are confirming that your God cannot make miracles. No, no, miracles does not. So make why he was God. not able? What do you mean God. miracle cannot make a person his God? Isn't it the Quran says that only Allah can do this and this and this and this? The Quran, the Quran, the Quran. My friend, my friend, look like you do not know your religion. You are a person who is trying to give it a shot. Or is that the case? No, I, is that I the case? Now I'm asking you. Be honest. Is that the case? Well, do you know what the Quran says about creating? Isn't it the Quran says that only Allah who is the one who can create? Only Allah who can create. Mm. I think I think we're moving moving from from, from the point. We are not moving from the point. You see, you are you are scared. Yes. You see, because you know I am a Christian prince, so you are scared to say anything. You are terrified. You you know no, you know when a Christian prince he asks something, there is something going to follow, and you are terrified to say yes or no. So I'm asking you, according to your cult, the the one called Islam, there is any other God beside Allah created a human being. I I don't know. If God, if God gives a person the, the, the ability, stop to telling me being, God gave the ability. What does this have to do with I, give ability? Yeah, Hold that, on. That, that, that's why I'm not. There's no proof. There's no proof that your God can give anything to anyone. I'm asking you, according to your religion. Yes. God, if yes, there's there any is. other one yes, beside yes. Allah, He can create a human being. Either you say yes or you say no. Well, I don't know. Then, no, you, no, no, you need to know. You need to know. You are being a liar yeah. because the Quran. Let me get you busted from the Quran. Isn't it the Quran? It says that it is He who created you. It is He who made you. It is He He gathered you. It is He. I mean, the Quran, all of it, full of it. So suddenly, you say to me, you don't know. Are you sure you don't know? Okay, God, 
created everything from nothing that's who God is all right so God no 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 make, your God did not create without, everything without, from nothing without, this is a lie without, this is a lie this without, is a lie without, when your God without, Allah created without, Adam without, hold on when your God Allah created Adam did he created him from nothing why are you talking about the Quran now we are talking about saying, God you I, call I, me to I, ask I, me about God you call me to ask me about God let us see who is God your God did he no, created I, I, Adam I, I, from nothing or he created he created him from mud From nothing, and from nothing, the the mud, the mud, and then create uh, Adam. Mm. But he created Adam specifically from mud. Yes. Okay. Uh, who else can so create? Who else can create a human being from mud? Why? Why are you going to this? It's, because it's, I want to know. I want to know who is your God. No, no, Do you I worship only to. one person? Only you Muslim worship one creator, or you worship many creators? How many creators I, there is in your religion? I began talking to you about that you worship other gods besides the god of jesus you know the, the god of jesus the only true god you jesus called him that mm. in the bible the god of the jesus father. the god of jesus you see the one you say the god of jesus jesus speaking about his father yes he called him his god okay but jesus he said because he is you know the christian believe that we have a trinity and the son is 100 percent man 100 percent god so the man jesus he is saying to them that it is not me who is speaking to you it's God in me this is your God and this is why he said that the sky and the earth will go but my words will not this is why he said I am the Alpha I am the Omega I am the beginning I am the end this is why he said before Abraham I am so he was saying to them Jesus the man in front of you his existence have nothing to do with the existence of me as God because before Abraham I am and this is what I'm saying to you. Who is uh, the one who the... created? Who is the one who created Adam and his children? Wait, wait. Who wait, is the Jesus one said... who created Adam and his children? Wait, wait. Jesus said in the Bible, "I am going to my Father and your Father, my mm. God and your God." Mm. So there, there is two gods. They cannot be one God. No, my friend. But the... he said. But but in the same time, you see, you cannot quote the the Bible without quoting the rest. They ask him, "Why you don't show us the Father?" He said, "I am with you all this time. I did not know me." The one who saw me, he saw the father. The one who saw me, he saw the father. This is the father you are talking about. Okay. So I okay, and the yeah. father, and he said, and I and the father is one. So you don't quote a verse and you don't quote the other verses because it's a book. It's not just a sentence. I can take for you a verse from okay. the Quran okay. and I can misquote it. And I say, here you will go. Muhammad, he okay. said, la ilaha, la ilaha. Okay, la ilaha, there's no God. That's me. Muhammad is a kafir. He's an atheist. That's what you. That's what you always do with the Quran. You, you quote one uh, one verse and leave the other. That's a lie. That's Prove me wrong. Is. Get me busted. Go ahead. Okay. Um, you've said uh, two days ago mm. that you've said that the Quran says mm. that Jews and Christians will go to go to go to heaven. Right. And you leave all the other verses where it says Christians will say they and no, I did not leave them. I did not leave them. Well, yeah, you did. No. You said oh, the, the Quran says um, Christians are going to heaven. Based I, on that. I'm asking you, you I'm asking you, is it true and that the Quran says that Quran says that the Christians and the Jews and the Sabi and they will go to heaven? Yes or no? The Muslim refused to answer. I did not say the other verse doesn't say that. We did not even oh. spoke about the other verses. Here we go. A verse in the front of us that says that those who they believe today and those who they are believing as Nasara oh, no. oh, and wait, wait, those who they are Sabi in. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, you lied. It does not say today. Okay, read. let us read together. In the Ladina Amanu, the Ladina Hadu, one Nasara, was Sabi a woman Amana Billah, woman Amana, woman Amana, whoever believe. This is about the present. Muhammad is speaking to people around him. Was Muhammad speaking to the dead or he's speaking to the one who's alive? Uh, read it, uh, read it, again. read it with me. Those who believe in the Quran yes. and those who yes. follow the Jewish Christian scriptures and the Christians. And the Sabian and any who believe in Allah and the last day and work righteousness shall have their reward with their Lord. This is speaking Good. about in the present. Muhammad is speaking to people in front of him. So Good. show me Good. the past tense. Is, is there any past tense here? Good. Good. Hmm. Okay. And now based on the on the verse that you have read, hmm. only only the verse. I'm not going to talk about anything else. Hmm. Only on the verse. It hmm. says, "Whoever believes in Allah, hmm. do you believe in Allah, Christian Prince?" Hmm. 
But the, first of all, it doesn't say believe in. Believe, first of all, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. You see, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. You, 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 just let me teach you. Let me teach you. You see, you do not know even how to read like your prophet. Listen, it says it clearly. And those who follow the Jewish Christians, he's counting, he's counting, okay. he's counting believers. What kind of believers they are? Those who believe in the Quran, they are independent. It's different than those who believe in the Jewish scriptures, correct? Go to the other verse. Okay, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm showing Lord, it in Lord the screen. Lord. I'm showing it in the screen, and then and the Christians and okay, the Sabian. And by the yes. way, the Sabian don't believe in Allah, and the Christian uh, don't good. believe in Allah, and the Jews don't continue. believe in Allah. Continue, continue, continue. And any and any and any. This is additional. And any who and believe any. in Allah. Believe in Allah. <laughs> and any he's adding. He's adding more. Is he adding more? He's adding more. And any who Don't believe lie. in Allah and the last day, so he is counting yes. the, the one who followed the, the Jewish scriptures. Do the Jewish scriptures worship Allah? It's Christian Prince, whoever believes in Allah, it means uh, and any and 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 any. Do you know? Do you know Arabic? Do you know Arabic? Do you know Arabic? Do you know Arabic? It says in the front of us, here we go. In the Ladina Amanu, the Ladina Hadu, the Nasara, the Sabiun. Do you know what wa? Wa is Haruf Atif, equal to and and. It's there are there's a conjunction here is about another group and so and 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 whoever believe in Allah. So he's adding and more and more. So a Sabi'in don't believe in Allah, the Nasara don't believe in Allah, and the Jews don't believe in Allah. But he promised a Sabi'in to go to heaven. And he promised those who believe in the Quran to go to heaven, and those who believe in Allah will go to heaven. At this moment, Muhammad was being a scam. He is trying to make everybody accept him. You, 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 are, a, you are a liar. Well, I here we go. Okay, let, let, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. But when uh, you say I'm to me, using, when you say to me, using, when you hold on, hold on, hold on. When you say to me, this is about those who believe in Allah in Muhammad time. That's mean they converted to Islam, correct? Yes, that's that's correct. Okay. That's the, that's shall we go and read the verses? Shall, shall, shall we go and read the interpretation? Um, yes, we can do that. All right. Yeah, let's go to the interpretation. Chapter 2, verse number 62. But, but you, uh, there's also have to be um, the, um, the, the, the reason the, of... Uh, the, the What? The, the. The, the time it was revealed. Yeah, the time it was revealed, my friend. The time it was and, revealed. And, and, to, and to whom it was revealed. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Are you telling me how, how, how I should write the interpretation? I will show you what interpretation is saying in front of us. What do you mean it have to be have to be are you telling me how to write it i'm not the one i'm not i'm not the writer hmm? read with me this is the book of asbab and nuzul this is the book of asbab and nuzul which means the reason for the verses to come down your prophet says those who etc 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 and then okay let's see interpretation mujahid who said when Salman rela uh, related to the Prophet, Allah bless him and give him peace. The story of the monks, the Prophet told him that they will be, they will dwell in the hellfire. Salman said, whole earth became gloomy for me. But then the verse was revealed. So Allah is correcting Muhammad. Salman was upset. You see, Muhammad is changing his mind and changing his Quran just to make Muhammad, make Salman happy. Then this verse revealed. Lo, those who believe that which was revealed into you, Muhammad, and those who are the Jews, the Jews don't believe in Muhammad and never believe in Muhammad. Up, uh, uh, up to Allah saying, there shall be no fear, shall no fear come to, the, to them, ne neither shall they grieve. And, uh, and it was as if a mountain had lifted away from me. This is Salman al-Farisi saying that. Then he continue. Look the verse. Those who believe in that which was revealed into thee, Muhammad, and those who they are, the Jews, was revealed about the monks, with whom who, 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 hold on, who? with whom Salman al Farisi kept company. When Salman, Sal Sal hold on, Salman, Salman Farisi is a, was a Christian. Yes. So, uh, meaning, so hold on, hold on. He, he, okay, hold on. Jesus. Yeah, so okay, no problem, no problem. But the monks, the monks are the monks are Christians. So Salman al Farisi, no, hold on, hold on. Abdul, no, I did not misunderstand. <laughs> exactly by the way, by the way, by, by the way, me, you Muslims, you Muslim, you say Salman al Farisi was a Christian. This is a false. He was a Sabian. We'll prove it. This is, those are Sabian monks. But let us continue. 
because here you see it says those who they are Jews but Salman al-Farisi was not with the Jews do you see the Jews he was a Christian what the Jews have to do with the with the with, the, with Salman al-Farisi let us say let us say he was a Christian as you claim so the Jews mm -hmm. are in total disagreement with the Christians so how Allah promised the Jews but Salman is yes. asking to, to 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 let the Christians go to heaven okay no, let no, us no, read no. let us read let us love together hold on why no, you wanna me, me why you wanna stop me so. why you wanna stop me from let us finish it let us finish it in love <laughs> was revealed no, about it, the monks it, 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 shut up who was that's with Salman no 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 when Salman went to see the message of Allah and Allah bless him and give him peace he informed that their worship and the striving he said oh message of Allah they used to pray and fast and they believe in you and pour witness that you will be sent as a prophet when Salman finished that enough, Christian, hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on let, let me show you the scam let me show you the scam how those but are the, how do, the, what do you want we, we finished it Salman the Pharisee was a Christian who, uh, <laughs> who who was looking for the Prophet Muhammad uh, and he wanted to, to see him to, to believe in him my he friend was Salman al Farisi was a Zeradisht. He was a, then, a, and then, and then, he was a fire worshipper. This is why a Sabian. Can you tell me why the Sabian are wait, included? Wait, let, let me tell you why the word Jew, Jews are there. Yeah, why the Sabian is included? Forget about the Sabian. No, why the no. Sabian? Why the Sabian going wait. to go to heaven? If they if they accept this now, if they accept this, they did not. They, this is why they call Sabian. If they accept Islam, they are Muslims. We don't call them Sabian. <laughs> If the Christians accept Islam, we don't call them Christian, we call them Muslims. If the Jews accept Islam, we don't call them Jews, we call them Muslims. So why the Jews, the Sabi and the Christian will go to heaven? Right, let me tell you about the Jews. The Jews that will go to heaven mm. uh, in, in, in Islam are those who followed the Prophet Moses. Those mm. who followed Moses are called the Jews. They're, they're, they're Jews. Mm. Jew, Jews, yeah, they are Jews and we consider them to be Muslims. Mm. Jew, how Muslims how you call them Jews, but they are Muslims. How why you call them Jews then? By ethnicity or by what? Yeah, by because they followed. They're from the uh, from Judah. So, okay, so they but aren't you the Jews. one who said to me I so, did lie when I Jews. say? Isn't so, it you who said to me you did lie when you say that the Jews and the Christian will go to heaven? And you said to me in different verses in the Quran the Jews will not go to heaven. So how the Jews no. will go to heaven? And he says all the Jews because the verse says the Jews. Jews wait. The wait. Jews, not one Jew, not two Jews, Jews. The Jews. Wait. Jews will go to heaven. Are those who followed their prophets? In the time of Muhammad, uh, there was Jews who followed their prophet. Yeah, those who who uh, who continued on their Judaism after after the prophet came, mm. they, they are no longer uh, going to, going to heaven. All right, because they're rejecting the final messenger. Uh, but so that, so so yeah, but so you are saying so you are saying okay so you are saying that Muhammad when he came that the Jews they have a correct book their book is not corrupt correct right? That's not what I'm saying. No. Did you say that because you say those who were following those who were following the Jewish scriptures in the time of Muhammad when he came. If they accepted Muhammad, they are going to go to heaven. That's what you are saying. But the interpretation, it doesn't say that. The interpretation is saying clearly that those are the Christians, those who they are the Sabian, those who they are the Jews, they yes, will go to before, heaven. Yes, yes, before uh, those who, uh, who be, uh, those who were before the, the Prophet Muhammad. Yes, Not before, it says those who they are. Are you saying to me before Muhammad, they will believe in Muhammad? They are dead or they are alive? No, no, no. Are they dead or they are alive? When Muhammad is talking here, those people are dead or alive? No, we have to understand the reason I'm asking you are alive. they alive or dead those who Muhammad is speaking of right now Are they dead or alive? You, you mean the Jews and the Christians yes and the Sabian are they alive or dead? Yes, those who are dead and those who believed at his uh, at his time. Okay believe those, in what? Those who believed in the prophets my friend and don't lie Muhammad to yourself came, and those mean, who are Jews those who they are yes. Jews and the Christians those are Jews, uh, those who read are Jews with me who, this is Tafsir Ibn Abbas the, the no they don't believe in Muhammad read with me this is Ibn Abbas Either, yeah, this is uh, Ibn Abbas uh, then he mentioned those who did not believe in Musa <laughs> or or the Prophet saying and those who are who are the Jews who the the uh, deviated from the religion of Musa's and the Christians who became a Christian and the Sabian and the sect of those members etc 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 and then our it so he is naming the Christians at that time as a Christians if they believe in Muhammad their name will be not a Christian no more they will name will be Muslims because you are called Nasara because this is why the Quran says that the Nasara 
are going to go to hell why he is not yes. calling them Muslims he, because they are well, Nasara well, but wait, wait, but the verse wait. we are talking about calling them still Nasara correct wait where, where does it say in the Quran that uh, today the Christians are called Nasara I the mean, whole Quran the, the Quran says, never call us any name except Nasara what's wrong with you no it calls you the people of the book my friend no the people of the book when no, you speak they're... about the, the two together you are ignorant the, the people of the no. book is to put two religions together, which is Judaism and, 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 and Christianity in the same time. There is nowhere, nowhere, the people of the book have nothing to do with being a Christian yeah. or a Jew. It's about being being both in the same time, which means speaking about because both in the same time, we use the, 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 the title, the people of the book, because they have a book. This is the only two who have a book. Yeah, right? Like okay. Yeah. Chapter 2, yeah. chapter 2, verse number 120. <laughs> chapter 2, verse 120, it says, until you follow their religion, correct? Do you agree? Okay, yeah. Okay, that's mean they don't feel believe in his religion, correct? Yes. Okay, as long as they don't believe in the religion of Muhammad, so how they will go to heaven? The, the, as I told you, those who, uh, the Jews and the Christians at the time of Muhammad and after him, they don't go to uh, heaven. No, they will go to heaven. The verse I showed you, it says that the, the Christian, the, the, it says the same word, the Christians, the Jews, the Nasabian. Okay, those who came, those who were before the <laughs> Muhammad's time and who were at the, the, the time of Muhammad and believed in. Okay, my, my friend, my friend. That's, okay, yeah, no problem, no, no problem. You see, you can play games as much as you want. But let me ask wow. you a very simple question. Oh, wait, let me ask you a very simple question. Let me ask you a very simple question. Is Muhammad going to heaven? Is Muhammad going to heaven? Let us see. Let us see the scam from the end. Is Muhammad himself going to heaven? Okay, before I answer that, let, let mm. me say something. Mm. Why do you take one verse? I I understand it may be difficult for you. I when I first uh, have read this verse, mm. I I misunderstood it. I didn't know how to understand it. But why do you take one verse and leave out the rest? I don't know. Quran, Here we go. I showed you all. all. I showed wait, you wait, all, wait, and I I, I I showed you wait. all, and you have no answer. You start wait, fabricating wait. things is not there. Wait, Christian Prince. If all the Quran says Jews and Christians will go to hell, why do you take this one verse and say, "Oh, look"? Uh, the Quran because Muhammad, as a scam man, in the beginning he was trying to be nice to the Christians. He wanted them to support oh. him, so he said to them, "You can be okay. You, you tell me how the how the Sabian biased. they will." Let, is, let me ask you. Let, let me ask you. Did, did, did the people call Muhammad a Sabian? Did they call him a Sabian? Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? But, did the, 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 did the Arab call Masabi. Muhammad as Sabia? I do not know of anyone who called. So, if we prove that Muhammad was called as Sabi, is that will prove that Muhammad was a Sabian? No, it will not prove that he was. A Sabi. So why? Just so why they are calling him? Him, why they are calling him? Why they are calling him as Sabi? It doesn't prove anything. If he, they called him uh, many names. They called him. A man, no, man, why? A but he agreed with it. He agreed with it. He didn't say no. He did not say don't call me as Sabian. So why they called him as Sabian? You see, if you call me a Sabian and I'm not a Sabian, I will say to you, don't it's, call me that. It's irrelevant. It's huh? irrelevant. Okay. No. So why, why, why well, Muhammad was, was called a Sabian? No, 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 it's relevant. It's relevant. It's, it is. It is. So when Muhammad, he was called a Sabian, they called him Sabian for what reason? I don't know if that story. So uh, here we go. The story in the front of us. I, I will not. Read with me. Read with me. No, I don't care if you will not or not. Here we go. The, the, the men of Muhammad, they were looking for water. They saw a woman. A woman, she they said to her, "Let us take you to our our messenger." She said to him, "Read with me car carefully." Mm. Look, that's not that's not my method. I so when he he like come to Mecca, someone said to him, "You have become a Sabian." He said, "I, you know, no, I became a Muslim." Why the people they were thought thinking that the Sabian and the Muslims are the same? I don't know. That's why I'm not gonna comment. Okay, if I show you another no. hadith where it says Muhammad, he was called Sabi and he did not he did not even reject that. I'm not gonna comment. No, you will not comment anyway. So Muhammad at that moment he was considered himself a Sabian. When he did not work with him with the Sabian, so he starts saying he's a Christian. When he did not work with the Christian, he starts saying I am a Jew. So Muhammad he changed, you know, he changed from place to place to place because he is a false man. That's your that's your bias, uh, Christian Prince. This you, is not my bias, my friend. Here we go. Let me ask yes. you a question. Yes. Muhammad was following the scriptures of the Jews and the Christians, or the uh, following the Quran. Okay, let's 
he was following the Quran. Okay, here we go. Get you busted again. Your prophet was not following the Jews' scriptures, he was following the Christian scriptures. Read with me. The prophet used to copy the people of the scriptures in matter which there was no order from Allah, and the people of the scriptures used to let their hair hang down, etc. So Muhammad he used to copy from the Christians and the Jews their teaching. Why he is doing that? Where is that from? This is Sahih Bukhari. If Muhammad is a prophet and the Christian are lost and they will go to hell, and you are the one who said to me, if you don't believe in Muhammad, you are not in the right track. So Muhammad now is copying from the Christians and the Jews. Based on what? Because their book is corrupt? What? Are corrupted, yeah. but not all of it is corrupt. Okay, how you know what is corrupt, what is not? <coughs> Whatever agrees with the whatever Quran. agree it, it says agree. it says there it's not in his book. What do you mean it agree? It's not in his book yet. How he know it's agree? Why he don't wait for his God? Why he don't pray to Allah? How come Allah have time to send him messages about sex with his wife? Allah have a mess have time to tell him about the flying carpet. Allah have time to send him a message about the birds. Allah have time to tell him about all the fairy tale story. But when Muhammad he need a serious matter about religion, he have to copy from the Christians and the Jews. Why? I uh, have not come across uh, this hadith, but the, I don't. I don't see any like huge problem with that. Who is the one who wrote the Quran for Muhammad? Who wrote the Quran on paper? Who? Are you talking about who wrote the Quran on paper? Who wrote the Quran for Muhammad? Yes. Oh, his his companions. Let me get you busted again, my friend. You're trying to disprove something that is already agreed. Here we go. Let us see. It's in the front of you. This is Sahih al Bukhari. There was a Christian who embraced Islam and read Surah Al Baqarah and Al Amran. He used to write the revelation for the Prophet. Do you see it, my friend? Okay. What's, yeah. Okay. He's, he's what? He is, a, he is a Christian, right? He converted to Islam. So he's a okay. Muslim. Well, hold on. The disaster is coming. And then it says, after he was, you know, writing for Muhammad, uh, later on he returned to Christianity, and again he used to say, he used to say, look what, look, 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 Muhammad knows, Muhammad knows nothing, but what I have written for him. Do you see it? Okay. Uh, okay. So who was the one making Quran? The one who was Muslim, the one who was uh, written Quran. Know. Who is the one who is making Quran? The Quran is written by a Christian guy, and Muhammad have no idea what this guy is writing. Whatever this guy he write, Muhammad agree with it. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, are you saying the Quran, all of it, is authored by this man? My friend, let us say, let us say only 30%. Let us say because the chapter Al Baqarah alone is 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 the biggest chapter in the Quran, correct? Look, look, let's say the chapter of Al Baqarah alone is the biggest chapter in the Quran, correct or no? Yeah, and Umran is a huge too. So now, here it's mentioned that he at least, at least, he did two at least. So he was the one making Quran for Muhammad, and he is witnessing that Muhammad he know nothing of what is written there. I am the one who wrote it, and as I wish. Hello? Yeah. I'm here. You want to call a friend? What do you mean? You hello, hello, hello. I'm waiting for no, you. What I... you want to? What, what do you want to do with this disaster? No, it's not disaster. It's not... What do you mean a disaster? Muhammad, he know nothing, and Muhammad no, did not, not say, and Muhammad he did not say this is a lie. No, I don't know if this was if this is about writing on paper or. Um, it's about else. writing, my but... friend. Don't play games. What do you mean write in yeah, paper? Right. No, he used to write in the wall. What do you mean write in the paper? He used to write in his hand. What, what are you talking about? And he used to write the revelation for the prophet. Where the not, where the prophet that, that, revelation was written? Good. Where the that's prophet revelation was written in his in his bum, in his face, in that's, his shoulder, or in no, a paper? 
there's there's many evidence about other companions. My friend, this is Sahih al Bukhari. Who cared about the evidence that the, the Sahabi later they are collecting what this guy he wrote? This guy he made the Quran for your prophet, and he is witnessing Muhammad. He know nothing of what I wrote. That, that's that's uh, that's not true. That's My not friend, true. this is Sahih al Bukhari. This is Sahih al Bukhari. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna comment on that. Each uh, time I, I show I, you I, something, each time I show you something, you said, I don't want to comment in that, I don't want to comment in that, I don't want to yeah, comment in that. Okay, uh, have you ever heard? Okay, hold on. Have you ever? Uh, okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. That's why I'm saying it to you in the what? beginning. Muhammad, Mu Mu hold, hold on. You see, that's, that's, that's you see, uh, you call me to talk about God, and look, you are getting yourself busted more and more. We are digging door more. Have you ever heard about a guy? His name is Abdullah ibn Sarah, who left Islam because he noticed that Muhammad is copying him. I, uh, heard such stories, okay, I'm not the guy he said, Tabarakallahu Ahsanul Khaliqeen, Muhammad, he liked it, he said to him, put it there. But the guy, he said, but this, I, is, this is what I said, not you. Muhammad, he said, fine, put it there. Allah, he sent it to me too. <laughs> let's, talk about, let's, let's talk about it. Let's Let us talk about, about this. Why do you want to talk about it? Here we go. We have a collection of guys who work for Muhammad to write the scriptures, and they are the one who make the scriptures. Yes. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna comment on that. You cannot Let's comment talk, because simply you are a coward, you have no idea what to say. I mean, it's on the front of you. I, the guy, I, I, why the guy he left Muhammad because he, he, he saw that he's a scam. L read with me. There was a Christian who embraced Islam and he read the surah of Al Baqarah and the Umran and he used to write an the revelation for the prophet later and he returned. Shut up, shut up. Let me read it. Look, look. It's hurting you. I will hang up on you if you don't let me read it. I have to read it. Shut up. Come on. What are you trying to prove? I'm proving that Islam is false. The guy is saying, Did your prophet say this is a lie? Did your prophet say this guy is a liar? Did this guy did this guy say your this your prophet say this guy is a liar or he he just shut up? Wait. If I do not have an answer to your question, it does not mean there is no answer. Okay, give me the answer. No. Search the answer. Yes. Go. Okay, no, no, no. Hang up. Search the answer and come back to me. Because each time I put you somewhere, all what you do, that your game is very simple. I don't know. I have no comment. I have no comment. Why you are calling me? You have no you comment, right? Yeah, I hang up. What I will do with you each time I get you busted. You say to me, I have no comment. So I have no comment too. I have no comment. Why? Why you are you keep saying to me I have no answer? Is that a sign? Did you give up, or this is a disability? No, I do not want to. Okay, so do you agree that this is obviously? So I don't care if you make answer or not. I have. I need an answer. You are calling me here to give me answers. So when you say to me I don't have answer, that's mean you are stupid. No, I am just. Ignorant. It's not my fault if you don't have an answer, and now you just show it. Now think, use your brain. What is happening came, here? Here came, we go. Came, no, no, no! Don't tell me I do not know. I, this is not an excuse. I want you to tell me what's happening. Why this guy? He left Islam, and why he is saying I am the one who wrote the Quran for Muhammad. I can come back later with the answer. Come back. Go ahead. <laughs> Take your time. Who said you cannot come back? Right, a stupid guy he is texting me says, You don't have knowledge of yoga. I don't want yoga, keep your yoga for your ass. Stupid idiot, yoga. Hello, CP. Yes, finally, finally, CP. How are you doing? I'm okay, fine. let me turn this down. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Jay, 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 can you hear me? Jay, are you live in the room? We are live. Go ahead. Mute your YouTube. Let me switch this off, CP. Mr. CP. Let me switch this off. Okay. Ah, Jay can hear me. CP. CP, you can hear me, right? Go ahead, my friend. I'll go into repeating CP, CP forever. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Oh, okay. So you was talking to my brother, my mm. brother here, and mm. you can t you can see he was afraid to answer your questions. I'm okay. gonna say that. Okay. What At about you? He was diving. He was ducking. He was diving. But I've been waiting to talk to you. I've been wairing for this moment. All right. Go ahead, my oh, friend. My Are you a kid? Life. Are you a kid? CP. Are you CP. a kid? I'm good. I'm good. I'm okay. Good. Go I'm ahead. Good. Read. Okay. Well, Ikra, you want to talk about Ikra? You you made a pathetic argument before before we continue, CP. Mm. I just want to ask you a question. Are you going to allow me to speak today? 
but you're gonna hang well, up for me. If you wanna sing for us like Muhammad no, no, Hijab, no, no, I will no, hang no, up no, on no, you. No, no, no. Hey, 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 okay. Hey, hey. okay. Are you gonna we have a topic. We have a topic. We have a topic. Everyone can hear us. Everybody can hear us. We have a topic. A, a man he wrote the. You are a crusader. Are you a coward? Are you going to play a game? Why you are? Why you are speaking over my voice? Let's establish. Let's establish some rules. Okay. Are you gonna allow me to speak today? You are allowed to speak, my friend. That's why you are with me. Stop talking. Stop. Stop talking non-stop. Go. Go. Start with the topic. Are why this man excuses? shut up you why this know, man he is saying i am the one who wrote the quran calm down with the holy spirit. why he is saying calm don't talk about the holy spirit the holy spirit in islam is a jibreel when you when you've met your match are you finally gonna man up and allow me to speak today <laughs> or are you gonna are you gonna go around you will not answer you see it's not about letting you speak you will not answer why why you, okay then go ahead here we go the hadith the, shut up the hadith is in the front of us go ahead and read it Read it. Go ahead. Read the hadith. I will allow this man to speak. Read the hadith. Go ahead. Read. Read the hadith. Go ahead. Would you read the hadith? Read the hadith in front of us. We have a topic. We have a topic. Go ahead. Hey, hey, CP. Just tell the room. I'm not going to hang up on this. On this. Abdul, read the hadith. We have so many topics. Read the hadith. Yes, we finish. We finish this one. We go to the second topic. No problem. We have a topic. We finish it. We go to second topic. Go ahead. Read the hadith. Okay, control freak. Okay, sir. Okay, what's the topic? You tell me. A man, he is a Christian converted to Islam. He is the one who wrote the Quran. What do you say about that? Okay, so there's a Christian man who's a scribe, is what you're saying, right? The hadith in the front of you, read it. In front of me? Yes, in the screen. I'm showing it in the screen. Read it. No, no, I'm not from the I'm not on from YouTube. I'm actually on the Pal Talk room and someone is I don't uh, care if you're in Pal Talk or not. Go go and it. click at my YouTube. Shut it. up, you're stupid right. idiot kid. I have no time for a kid. Here we go. This is my YouTube. Open the screen. Look at the hadith and laugh at, laugh at your prophet. And then call me back. Don't tell me I am not in YouTube. CP. Are you going to read it or not? Brave, brave Christian warrior. Why we are, are the brave and you are the coward. Why you made an excuse saying I cannot read it? I gave you the link. Yes, everybody is laughing at you. you everybody laughing at you. You don't dare to read it. Go ahead, read it. I send you. I send you the link. I send you the link. Listen, listen. You are like a Muslim woman. You are like a Muslim woman in the delivery room, but she have gas. She have no baby. Now, everybody is embarrassed. Everybody is embarrassed. Read. Go ahead, read. I want to talk to you. I don't hate you. Read. I don't, I don't care you hate me or not. Please, please. I don't have time for kids. I don't have time for kids. Read the hadith. Okay, I'll be quiet. Read the hadith. No, I want you to read the hadith. Please read the hadith for us. We have many Muslim and Christian views. My friend, my friend, people are laughing at you and people are laughing at Muhammad. Okay, let me read for you. I will read for you. You are a coward. You cannot read. Okay, no problem. There was a Christian. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. There was a Christian. Okay, there was a Christian. Read with me. There was a Christian. I send you a link. There was a Christian who embraced Islam, and read Surah Al-Baqarah and Al-Umran, and he used to write the the revelation for a prophet for the prophet. Later he returned to Christianity, and again he used to say, "Muhammad knows nothing, but what I have written for him." Okay, is this individual God? That even if he did turn away and he turned astray, what what we supposed to we supposed to base our salvation on this one individual's perception of what happened? So what if he left Islam? No, so he said. He you see, the, the problem is your prophet did not say he he's a liar. Of course he did. Where? He show did. me. Okay, show me where he, he says that. Did. Where? Where he, he said? Show me. Show me. Show me. Okay, okay show me. If course, you, listen, if course, if course he did. Show me. Okay, so instead of having a conversation and, and, and being an adult, you want us to keep providing references every three seconds? Like we can have to pull up references. Give me, you just say, you know, here when we speak about something, we give reference. You said the prophet, of course, he said, show me. C CP, we have many topics we can talk about. My what friend, if we, we finished this one. Uh, don't be a kid. Don't be a kid. Here it's confirmed that you're a prophet. He have no idea what this guy he said. Come on, have patience. Look, I'm gonna bring you references. I'm gonna be one of your most regular callers. Okay, mm. it's not the, inshallah, God willing, the world's not gonna end tonight. Me no problem. Have many conversations, so okay? give me the answer. We please. can, we can, but you, you, you discuss many topics with the mm. with the former caller. I mean, you can have talk about many topics too. Mm. All I'm saying is, just because one person had, uh, you know, doubts about Muhammad, doesn't mean 
you know, that we have to throw him in the bin. All right. right? Let, let, hold on. Hold on. You said uh, if one person have a doubt, all right? Let us have a nice conversation, not to shout, please, because I don't want to lose my voice. And CD, I don't want you to lose I, your voice. I, I, I don't hate you. Okay, listen, I, listen, I, listen, I, my I, friend. I, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't tell me about hate. No, don't tell me. No, listen. You said okay. if somebody have a doubt, did Muhammad himself he have a doubt about himself being a prophet? That shows, that shows, that's okay. I need to calm down. Okay. That shows his honesty. The fact that, you know, he's not an imposter because he even, when you, when you are met by an angel of God, okay, mm. it's something overwhelming. Okay, okay. Mm. You, it's not something that you see every day. Mm. So the fact that he said, I don't know what happened, you know, this could have been God, I mean, this could have been an angel, mm. this could have been Satan. Mm. That shows his honesty and but, his integrity. Okay, but here we go, let us see what happened. Muhammad, he said that in chapter number 10, chapter of Yunus, and chapter Yunus received long after Muhammad became a prophet, and already he received tons of Quran. So why now, after he received Quran many time and he met the angel many time, now he is confused if he's a prophet or not? What happened no, exactly? No CP, no, no CP. Look, the, the, when you're, you're talking about his first revelation when Iqra, right? No, when, when he went, no, when he went, wait, no, wait, when he went no. To Khadija, when My he friend, went to Khadija, said, don't tell me said, no, Khadija, no. Khadija. I'm not talking about that. The first revelation. I'm talking about the chapter of Yunus, verse number ninety-four. Long after okay, Muhammad Yunus. became a prophet and he claimed to be a prophet long after that Allah okay, said to him CP CP, please let me allow, allow me to ask you a question. Okay, mm. if you were an imposter and you were trying to play mm. People right and you were trying to convince them that you're a messenger mm. Would you ever say such things like I don't know if it's really God or I don't know if it's it wouldn't you be like Yeah, I definitely receive revelation. Yes. I'm a yes, because God. Muhammad I, because Muhammad he himself He was a challenge and he could not prove himself. Let me show you in the hadith It says that a woman she came to Muhammad and she said to him that your shaitan he forsaken you Yeah, I mean then we got surah al duha right? Well, what God comforted him that Allah has not left you Right. Okay. So, okay. so Muhammad, so Muhammad, he was receiving Quran from Shaitan, and this is what people believe. And Muhammad himself, obviously, he believed in that. Correct. Okay. 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 Can I ask you a question? If Shaitan revealed the Quran, okay, mm. is, is 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 Shaitan a house divided? So, every chapter in the Quran, apart from one, starts with "I seek refuge in Allah from the accursed Satan." So, is is Satan fighting against himself? Hmm. How he fight himself if he himself if, if, if he if he accomplishing everything he want Muhammad okay. Muhammad okay. He, hold on hold on hold on you just you just get yourself busted how shaitan how shaitan will fight against himself then how how Allah he says things nobody accept except shaitan as an example is it true that you as a Muslim you have no problem to have sex with your child who is a child from adultery a stuck for a lot. Come on, CP. Is this is is this serious or is this a stand-up comedy? Okay. Do you do you accept the challenge to show but, it to you? But, but, but okay, CP. I, I listen to you. Come mm. on. I I stay quiet. Listen, listen to me for a minute. Okay? My friend, don't on, tell me on, I on, listen on. to you. Don't listen to me. Do you challenge I, I me? Do, no, do you I'm challenge saying, me? I mean, do you challenge me? I challenge you. Yeah, I'm making less. But let's make it two way, mm. right? Two way conversation, right? Ah, mm. Okay. You say having sex with your children. Mm. Okay. On the one hand, I find it like hypocrisy when you say it's, it's a contradiction when you say Muslims are too extreme. They cannot even touch the hand of a foreign woman. That's they false. I never say that. I never say that. I never say that. Hold on. I, I never said that. Don't lie. Muhammad oh, actually, Muhammad allow you and Allah, he gave him a verse as an example. We're right, talking about shaitan finish. making verses. Is it true that your prophet, he been given verses about breastfeeding for adults? CP, the users can listen. They yes can or not. I'm yes or not. Your you're a prophet. Your you're a prophet. Shaitan gave him verses. Is that a verse I'm from Allah? CP, I'm Is, listening to your point. My friend. I try, okay. I, I, I'm listening to your point too. When Allah, okay. here, when Allah, he sent the verses for Muhammad that a woman, she can give her nipples and her boobs 10 times to a stranger. Is that a verse from God or from Satan? Okay. Don't let me go into about the cherubims in the Old Testament. And, and, you and, can and, go whatever you want. I, but still, that will not save okay. you, my friend. Okay. Don't change the topic. But and you can go whatever you wish. Okay. You can go whatever you wish. You are a coward. Now answer, what kind of God? You are the one who said to me, how Shaitan can go against himself? How can God, he give you a verse, says a man, he can okay, suck I'm the boob a of a woman. I'm allowing you to speak. I'm taking a breath. Okay. I'm how uh, how God, how we God can do that? Conversation unless both of us are allowed to speak. <laughs> you make your point and then let me speak. Go ahead, go ahead. Everyone can hear us. Mm. Okay. For On the one hand, you say Muslims are extreme. I never said that. 
I never say that. No, I never say that. I say Islam is an open-minded religion. It's okay, a stupid see, religion. Islam is a religion without see, panty. Islam, my friend, but you are making a lie about me. You are making a lie. I will not allow you. You said Islam. I say I say Islam is very strict. I never said I know, that. I, know, I, I said Islam is very lousy. Islam is no panty. No panty okay. in Islam. DP, I will promise you in 30 seconds you can repeat mm. me, okay? So don't lie, in, don't lie in let my tongue. Finish. Don't lie in my tongue. Don't say you say. I did not say that. CP, okay, let me finish. Let me finish mm. what you're afraid of. If I'm talking rubbish, right, you have right. nothing to be afraid of. You stand with truth. You stand with God, right? Okay. On the one hand, they say Muslims are extreme. I never said that, you coward. Just, just let me finish. Don't let say that. Finish. Why you let are saying finish. something I did not say? Yeah, Why, why you are finish. saying something I did not say? You are a donkey. Me, you finish. are a certified donkey. Let Why you say in one hand you say Muslims finish. are very, very strict. Muslims are very finish. lousy. Muslims, Muhammad have no panty. Muslim one women one. have no panty. This is what I teach. Why you are saying something I did not say? CP, come on. CP, so why you are saying it? Why you are lying? Please, you are lying please, in my face. Please. You are lying in my please. face. You say in one hand you say Islam is I'm very not... strict. CP, <laughs> you can't make this, this. We can't make this complicated. Because you are lying about me in my face. I okay, never said okay, Islam is a strict seconds. religion. What's come to? Seconds. Why you are lying? Why, why you are lying? Where, where, and when I said Islam is very strict, we cannot touch. Can I have 10 seconds? Where I said, I want to get you busted right in the spot. Where Christian Prince, he said, in Islam, you cannot touch. CP, CP, let me finish. ZB, 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 ZB. I'm asking you, be a man. You said the Christian Prince, he said, you are a strict religion. Where I said in Islam, you are a strict, you cannot touch as you say. What I said that, CP, can you play my voice? CP, again, I'm going to tell you, everyone can hear us. And they see, I'm trying mm. to make a point and mm. you're afraid. You can refute me after you've heard my point. But don't okay? don't put words I did not say. You can make I your did, point. I didn't. You said, no, I, you did, I, you did. You said, you say, you said, you said in one hand, in one hand you say, but I never say that. I'm not I'm not I'm not saying that you quoted this directly. Ah, okay, okay. okay. Saying, All right, I'm good now. Okay. Okay. Mm. Majority of attacks on Islam when they talk mm. about Muslim men, mm. okay, and they talk about misogyny, mm. they say oh Muslim man doesn't allow a, a woman, you know, to wear what she wants. He can't even touch her hand. Mm. He tells her she must have the hijab. Mm. And then on the other hand, you're saying that we're sexual perverts and we we have sex with everything that walks. Mm. Okay, so can you reconcile this? Are we too extreme? Or are we perverts, CP? Which one is it? Can I answer Which now? one is it? Can I answer? Yeah, you, of course. I'll be quiet now. Okay. You can talk. This is your prophet, a woman she came to him, a man he came to her, uh, to, to Muhammad, and he said to him, I have a wife who any man can touch her. He can play with her. Look what your prophet, he said. A man came to the message of Allah and said, my wife does not object anyone to touch her. And you know what does that mean? And she is a Muslim woman. Muhammad, he said, divorce her if you wish. Mm -hmm. He said, I am afraid that I will not, I will miss her. Then Muhammad, he said, okay, stay with her as much as you need. Where is the strict religion? A woman, she's allowing every guy in the, in the, she is the bike of the town. Who wanna take a ride? Come over. The wife of this guy, and I'm sure you're a prophet, he asked for the address of this guy to know where is his wife. So Muhammad here CP, was, a, you know, I just want to say I had the urge to jump in, but I'm allowing you to finish. So I, I hope you allow me to to respond when, mm. when you're done. Okay, carry on. No problem. Here we go. So your prophet, he said to the man, okay, well, you cannot leave her. Enjoy her with the rest. What kind of a strict religion? Why you lie to me? You says we Muslims are strict when Islam is very, very open minded. And your prophet, he did not even get upset for a woman. Everyone is touching her bum. Okay, you done, CP? Go ahead. Okay. So, okay. So, does that tie in with everything else that you say about Muslims? Does that tie in? I'm answering that? about what you say. No, no. Okay, okay. Niqab, for example, niqab, burqa, you know. What niqab? No, but no, just listen, just listen. I allowed you to speak, okay? I was patient, even mm. though I wanted to mm. jump in. Okay, mm. please, just give me 30 seconds. Mm. Does that, does what you are saying now, does that tie in with burqa, niqab, modesty, Okay, there no sex before marriage. Mm. Wait, no sex before mm. marriage and all the rest of it. Mm. You can't you can't have your cake and eat it. You either mm. we are too extreme, we are like ISIS. Either we're too extreme or we're perverts. Which one is it? This is what I'm asking you, CP. Can is I answer? The Muslim, are the Muslim people can I answer? promiscuous? Can I answer? Wait, oh, just okay. five, five seconds. Are the Muslim people promiscuous? Mm. 
and, and open sexually mm. or are we too narrow-minded and extremist okay now you can talk Islam is the most open cult sexually here we go the hate in front of you Allah Apostle said if a man and a woman agree to have sex together here they put between two bracket temporarily marriage you do muta which means you hire a woman to f her and to f you their muta it should last for three nights and if they like to continue then they can do so and if they like separate they can do so how you say to me islam is a strict religion and you have a prophet he says to you you can hire a woman to jump in your lap for a three days a three night is that a strict religion or this is a lousy religion a man friend, he can go friend, in the elevator friend, hold friend, on you, to my friend do you think i'm a shia this is sahih al-bukhari you idiot no no because there's a context this is a sahih al-bukhari and the and, and the muta is not for the shia the muta is in the quran the muta is in the quran is not in the book of the shia is the quran the book of the shia Told you, there's a there's a context. Is the Quran the book of the Shia? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Your prophet is a context. No problem. Explain to us the context. No, what context? He says, any man, any woman. Read with me. Any man, any woman. They have. They like to have sex together for three days, three nights. Go have fun. You are the one who said to me, "Are we Muslims allowed to have sex before marriage?" I just told you, there's a context. Right? Is that marriage? In the time of war, in the time. In so the you time are saying to me, in the time of war, let us say, let us assume it's time in time of war, as you claim, but it's false. Let us say it's time of war. Is that an excuse for you to have sex before marriage? It's not. It's, it's considered a marriage. It's considered how it marriage. is a marriage. It's about sex because only. You have, to, you have to respect the woman the same way that you respect your wife. What do you mean respect? What do you mean respect? Contract. What do you mean respect? What do you mean respect? Do you respect the women? Be honest with me. Do you respect the women? Do you respect the women? She a woman today. She is giving her vagina to a man who pay her ten dollars. Do you do you do you do you respect that? Again, again, you're being simple-minded, and I'm telling you, it's in a time of war. What time of war? Here we go. It says any man, my friend, in the war there's no women in the in the street. What war? You mentioned any streets. This they are in the street. Way. Yes, this yes, I can show you. I can show you. Muhammad is going to towns. They they are in towns. They are not. You know. Come on, stop lying. So your God, He cannot be. And by the way, why you skip what I said to you? You said to me that if if God, if if Shaitan is the one who made the Quran, hold on. If Shaitan is the one who made the Quran, how Allah, who is a strict God, He allowed your mother, with my respect to her. To give her breast to a stranger and he have to suck it ten different time is that a teaching of the devil or this is teaching of the god hey okay you you want to talk about muslim muslim mothers okay on the other hand i'll tell you before you can lay your hands on a muslim mother they will probably i don't know decapitate you right cp abdul you don't you cannot capitate my finger my friend you are a potato you are a potato don't it threat me don't it threat me don't it threat me your mother your mother is not respected because she is not a, uh, listen don't tell me that don't it threat me don't it threat me i don't care go do, do your best how you we go the hadith in the front of you the hadith the hadith is in the front of you why allah he allow you are a coward you are trying to change the topic what kind of god he allow your mother to give her boobs everyone can hear i don't mind I'm not hanging up. You are the one is is in a, in a trouble. You say to me that this is a book of God. What kind of God? He sent the verse. What kind? What kind of God? Answer. What kind of God? He sent you a verse. Says that your mother, with my respect to her, she is going her to give her boobs to a stranger. Explain to me. Okay. Do you, do you know what zina means? Obviously, you do don't tell me about zina. Answer about this breastfeeding for adult. I want to learn about breastfeeding for adult. I want to convert to Islam because of it. Okay, okay, CP, CP. Mm, mm. All I'm all I'm saying is I, I want the, I want everyone who's listening to hear this. You mm. have a contradiction. Okay. Mm. On the one hand, you call us extreme. I don't know, I never and, called you extreme. No, I, I, I called no, 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 you are extreme no, 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 extru extreme 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 open minded in sex. I never said that. You see, you keep lying, lying about me. I never said that. Stop lying now. I want you to answer what can Mr. Extreme, Mr. Extreme, Mr. Extreme, Mr. Taliban, Mr. Taliban. What kind of God give you your Taliban as an order that your mother she can give her boobs to a stranger? Answer, please. Go ahead. CP, like I said, 
you are not sticking with the narrative. You know in the media, what do they say about Iran? What do they say? I about don't care about Arabia? media. I am not they the media. I'm a Christian prince. Freedom. Stop, stop, they they don't stop don't ignoring. Freedom. You are in, no, no, you are in the lying. corner. You are in the corner. You have no idea how to say, how to answer. What kind of God he ordered your mother to give her boobs to a stranger? Go ahead. What kind of, what did you say? What? What kind of mother? What, what kind, kind of, kind of God? What kind of God, Abdul? Boobs? I'm losing my voice screaming. Come on. What kind of God? He ordered your mother or your sister or your family, female, okay. which, to give which their kind boobs. Of God, which kind of dog? Which kind of God, or shall I say, dog, <laughs> tells you about stories where a prophet is having sex? Into, uh, no problem. With his first of all, first of all, Bible, first of all, okay, God. let me answer you. Let me answer you. You see, you are a coward. You are a coward. You are a potato. First of all, he is not a prophet. Secondly, it's not him who has sex with them. They made him a drunk and they drunk with him. Secondly, the stupid book, shut up, you idiot son of Muta. Get lost. Coward donkey. He cannot answer. When the Bible speak about those, those are not a prophet. The women are not a prophet. Lot is not a prophet. No, none of them is a prophet. CP, you are on. a coward. You are changing why the topic. You, if I'm the coward, why are you hanging up? If I'm the coward, because you will not answer. You will not answer. Why your God? He ordered your mother to give her boobs. I want an answer, and then you can tell me about Lot. You can tell me about Lot. Why your God? Why your God? He ordered. Okay, 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 answer. Go ahead. I'll answer. Okay, mm. I was trying to remain respectful with you. Okay, but you try to be some clown and you try to be some entertainer. So I'm going to respond to you in the way you're talking. Try, so try. Go ahead. Go, is, go ahead. go ahead. Try. You so, this. why your God, He ordered your mother to give her breast? Talk about boobs. Okay, let me ask you why mm. does your Old Testament talk about doggy styling your own daughter? No problem. We can talk about this. Finish this one okay. first. Why, why does it talk let about us see. Let us see if this is true. Let us see if this is true. The doggy style is in your Quran, you donkey. The, the, the doggy style in your Quran. You want to show it to you? Let's talk about the doggy style. Do you want me to show it to you? Let's no, be, but before we go anywhere, no, before we go anywhere, you are trying to escape the embarrassment. Your God is a scam. What kind of God? You order your mother to give her boobs. Baby, calm down, pipe down. What kind down. of God? He pipe order down. your mom to Breathe. give her boobs 10 times. Have a sip of tea. Calm down. I'm asking you, my okay. friend, for the last time. I have no calm time down. to waste. You are being I'm, a kid. I'm giving I'm giving you answer. Go ahead. Thing. You're asking me. I'm giving you the same thing. You're asking. No, you are not. You are not. I am. I no, am. you are not. You are a potato. I am. You, we, you, you answer about this, and we can talk club. about the second. We can go about the doggy style. No problem. I promise you. I promise. Honest to God, I will show you this, the doggy style from the Quran, and it will make you ashamed. I will show you what your God as and long, what your prophet long, said. Now answer about this. As long as you don't start listen listen crazy. i am i am not going to waste my time with the kid no more are you going to answer or not have the christian spirit i have the christian spirit this way i'm defeating you what kind of god he is the ordering you to give a breastfeeding for adult for your mother okay what is why is the bible telling you to doggy style your own daughter we can talk this is this is this is a lie this is a big fat lie this is a big fat lie you are a donkey like your prophet you are a donkey you are a certified liar you are a certified liar you are, i will allow you to prove it to me if you dare but now answer this i'm answering you know you're not answering we are not answering answer me what kind of god what kind of god go ahead what kind of god he ordered your mother to give her boobs to a stranger 10 times I'm asking, why did why is it saying tell your daughter to give? See, here we go. First of all, what you are saying is a lie. You can approve it, and we can go there. Answer this, and we can go there. Everybody will laugh at you in a second. Shut up, you donkey. You are just a stupid kid who is ashamed of his cult. You are you are ashamed of your cult, and you are a potato. When I say something, I prove it. This is cannot be from God. You can make all the lies you want about the Bible, but you cannot prove what you say. I am not going to repeat my question a million times. You said to me, if this is a book from God, how come God will go against himself? This is God teaching? This is God teaching. About the hijab. Hello? Hello? Yes, Mr. Osama, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. What do you want to say, Osama? I just came across your topics and I right. uh, would like to see what... Uh, 
the what topic here we are talking about today? we are talking about that your prophet he ordered the Muslim women to give their boobs ten time to strangers what do you say about that um okay uh, where do you get this uh, from the hate in front of you this is Sahih this is the Sahih Hadith let me see this is Sunat Ibn Majah. the verse of I do, I do not I don't uh, accept those oh you don't accept what do you accept my friend I'm a, I'm a Shia oh you are a Shia okay well let us go to the Shia then you as a Shia you believe that Muhammad and his family are made from light is that correct yes this is one belief okay why you believe that Muhammad and his family are made from light my friend because Allah create uh, because uh, the most high created them with light he created what the most high created hmm. them with light due to the fact that light be upon them i don't understand i understand so shown. so they are made from light what, what do you mean by light 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 you know uh, you know allah is, is light and uh, you know uh, uh, muhammad and his family are made from light right what do you mean by light you don't know what light light I don't know how to explain light for you. Allah who nourishes the earth, the world. Allah is the light of the world. Was okay. Muhammad and his family are made from light? Yes. Okay. How how this happens? So they are not a human. Yes, they are human. So how they are a human, but they are made from light. Well, what does what does the most I mean when what does this mean like uh, light? It means it means blessings. Oh, it's mean a blessing. Oh, okay, but, but it doesn't mean it doesn't mean the light that uh, you are thinking. Ah, as I know that they were stars in the forehead of Allah. Of the stars of what? In the forehead of Allah. Uh, where do you get this from? Okay, well, we can find some stories. No problem. Before okay. before we start quoting some stories about the Shia, tell us about what the Shia is, because many people here do not know what the Shia. Okay, so the Shia are like the Sunni. We have different groups of Shia. Mm. Um, of course, Shia is one who follows uh, Muhammad and the Ahlul Bayt, meaning Ali, Fatima, the Zahra, Hassan, and Hussein, mm. the sons of Hussein. Mm. And we take our knowledge from them and we take our practices from them. Okay. Uh, is the rooster the white rooster? Is he a Shia or he's a Sunni? Uh, who are you talking about? The rooster, the white rooster. Is he a Shia or he's a Sunni? Oh, what is this white uh, rooster? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. That's what your book says. That the white rooster is a Shia. Which book? Uh, you can go to. There is many. You can go to the book of Al Kafi. Well, it's tipsar. It says, okay. could, you, could you recite the full reference, please? Okay, it says, uh, uh, from his companion, it says, uh, Abu Abdullah alayhi salam said that the white rooster is my friend and the friend of every believer. Why is that? Could you recite the full reference, please? I just gave you the full reference in different hadith. He said in hadith number five one three zero nine three, he says, "Okay, Al Hassan and Abil Hassan alayhi salam." He said that okay. a rooster he have five, um, uh, five things about him, which is things of a prophet. Number one, he is gifting. He gift like he spent. Number two, he is brave. Number three, he is. A person who is he appreciate and okay. and number uh, number uh, uh, number four he knew the time of the prayer okay and he okay. go to many roads how how your how your Shia leaders mm. they compare the, the rooster to prophet okay can I respond okay okay um, first of all um, half of our shia scholars do not accept this narration and let me quote some of them mm. for you so for example sheikh mufid mm. 
in his book Rafid al Qita. Mm. It's it's a, it's hard uh, to mm. pronounce some. Mm. Uh, but in his book Rafid al Qita, volume seven, page mm. two hundred fifty six, he says, "Hatta hadith daif," meaning uh, daif meaning weak. Another mm. scholar such as Sheikh al Saluk. Al Kafi, he have hadith weak. Isn't Al Kafi is the same as Al Bukhari for the Shia? It's, it's not the same as uh, Bukhari. It's the same. Al Kafi is a, is a Sahih hadith. Is the Kafi a Sahih hadith? Oh. Al Kafi. Okay, which book has, is for has, you? Okay, is a Sahih well, okay, book. Okay, okay. Al Kafi has hadiths that hmm. are Sahih and has hadiths that are not Sahih. Okay, let me ask it you. It is not like. Do you have a proof? Do you have a proof that this hadith I quote to you, for you is a is a weak hadith? Can you quote for me? Somebody, I've your already, scholars. I've already I've no, already no, you did not give me about that hadith. Yes, no, you, no, no, yes, you, you gave me yes, a general did. statement. You gave me a general I statement. I said Sheikh Al Mufid mm. in his book Rawafid Al Kita, Volume Seven, Page mm. Number Two Hundred and Fifty Six. Yeah, did he talk about the the rooster? Yes. What he said, read for me. You want the statement of Sheikh Al Mufid? Yes, read it for me. Okay. Mm. In the book Sheikh, uh, in the book by Sheikh Al Mufid Al Rawafid Al Kita, Volume Seven, Page Number Two Hundred Fifty Six, he mm -hmm. states regarding the white rooster that uh, Brother C P is reciting. Mm -hmm. This is a fabricated lie, and it is a lie. Show me the link, my friend. I, I, I accuse you to be lying to me. There's no such a thing. I want to see it. Go ahead. Show me. I, I have the book in front of me. I no, you, not, I, I did uh, not hear you open any pages. Nobody heard you open. There's no way you open the page. You found to, it. Do I need yes, to, you need to show it to me. To uh, you, yes, you Shia are you Shia. You fabricate numbers. You fabricate no, names. You fabricate no, the stories. Show me the proof. Show me the my proof. Brother, is, is it because you use the internet and you use my friend, the internet? My friend, to, uh, my friend, my friend. Okay, give me a link for the book you mentioned, please. Can you give me the book? Like I said, I don't use internet, my brother. What do you mean? You are calling me in the internet. You are calling me in the internet now. Aren't you in the internet? Uh, is the Skype the internet? Yes, Skype is an internet. No, it isn't. Why? It worked by gas? No, it isn't. Somebody it's, told it's, you that Skype worked by gas. It is used by the sticks. S somebody told you that it's Skype worked by, by gas. Give me a link for the book you are reading from. Otherwise, it's a fabricated link. It's, it's fabricated not, a story. You are lying. Again, again. Okay, again, let me again, ask I you. Let me ask you. I want you. Let, let us let us do. Let, let us play this game. Let us see how you will do this now. Okay. According the, uh, the the chapter of hating to wait black shoes hadith number five nine three one Which book is this? This is can be found in a book of Al Kafi very number six page number three four six five It says okay, and it can be found in chapter 38 Hadith number three the book of Al Kafi very number six hadith uh, page number four six five. It says that it is it is not right to wear black shoes why because it make you lose your vision and let me okay. let me let me show it in the screen so people will see with me what i'm talking about here we go it make you lose your your vision and is going to make your penis limp and soft is that a Sahih story or this is a fabricated story? Give me a number now, fabricate a page, fabricate fabricated. a number, and fabricate an answer. Go ahead. Fabricated. Yes, give me an answer for this. Okay. Sheikh Saduk in his book. I'm not I'm not quoting Sheikh Mufid, I'm quoting Sheikh Saduk now. Hmm. Sheikh Saduk in his book hmm. in Kitab <clears throat> in Kitab <clears throat> Al Mukhtum Al Sahih. Hmm. In Al Maktoum Al Sahih, volume 300, hmm. page number 36, hmm. regarding the black shoes. Hmm. And Sheikh Al Mufid says, the black shoe hadith is regarded as one of the most weak hadiths that you can find you are the most most weak be. liar ever you did not open a book okay, you know what i want you i want okay. i want to hear i want to hear the book in your hand can, you can you flip the pages can you flip the pages for me flip the pages flip the pages just to flip the pages you have no book in your hand you're a liar flip the book flip the book in your hand flip flip the book in your hand do I need to flip the book? Yes, you need to because how you found the number, the page number, the hadith number in a second in a book which you don't have. Yes, I do. Okay, I flip the, the book. I want to hear the pages. Let me hear it. Let me hear it. 
Okay, so you're telling me it's compulsory to flip you a book. You are lying. There's no book. You're you are not reading anything. There's there's no oh, way in the world. There's no way in the world you can find the reference like this in a speed of light. And when you are using a book, that's a lie. No, because I already knew the <laughs> you are a liar. You are a liar. You are a, liar. You are a Shia. You are a Shia. Taqiyya. You cannot play Taqiyya with me. Okay, let us do this. Keep it what is Keep what it is the name of the book? What is the name of the book? Okay, what if I give you the book right now? The book you are quoting for I me. What is the name of the book? What is the again? Hold on, hold on. I will make everybody laugh at you. What is the name of the book you are quoting from? Al Maktoum Al Sahih. Al Maktoum Al Sahih. If I give you the link for the book right now in Skype, are you willing to show me the hadith you showed me or you spoke of? I don't think you'll get it. My friend, no, I, I will get you, it. I if I show you, if I show you, I if I show you, you hold on. If I give you the book you are talking about, what you will do? Are you going I'm to show me? To are you it. are you I'm willing waiting. to show me the reference? I'm waiting. Are you to show me? first of all? Waiting so, for, for you to for, get first of all, I never heard of such a book. You've never heard of it? No. Hold on. If you never heard of it, why did you just say that I'll get it for you? Because I'm getting you busted. No, no, no! You just contradicted yourself. No, I'm getting you busted yes, you because did. I never yes, heard you. of it. I yes, said to you, I you wanted to show, you, I wanted to show everybody. If I, I wanted to show everybody that you are a liar, you said to you me, said I said to I've you, if I give it to you, you will give me the link, you will give me the reference. You said still no, with because there's no such a book. I never heard of it. Can you give me this book? I've got the book. Can you give me the book? Al Maktoum al Sahih. You said it's called Al Maktoum al Sahih, correct? Yes. Okay, where we can find this book? You have to buy it. Where? Physically. Okay, physically. Where? Where we can find it? Give me. Give me one. I don't even get it from internet. I've already told you. I my, don't my, even it, how come nobody knows about it? A lot of Shias know about it. A lot of Shia. Okay. What? How come you were able to find the hadith without? Do you have the book in your hand? Uh, do, uh, which book <laughs> are you talking about? The book you are reading for me from. Which book? Al Maktoum al Sahih, the one you answer me yes. from. Okay, do you yes. have the book in your hand? Yes. Can you open the camera and show me the book? I don't show my face on the camera. Don't I show don't me the face, my friend. Show me the book. Don't show me your face. Thank you. I don't want to see your face. Need to. It's not compulsory. There is there is need. I want to. You are a liar. There's no such a thing. Can it's you open the camera? Can need. you open the camera? Uh, point the camera at your book. I I wanna I wanna see the book. Can you show me the book? There's no compulsion. Can you show me the book? Compulsory. Can you show me the book, please? Why do I need to show you the book? Because you are a liar. There's no book. You don't have a book. You are fabricating numbers. You are fabricating pages. You are fabricating names. No, there's no book. Okay, open the camera. Show me the book. Okay, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Yeah, my friend what you will lose what you will lose open open your camera open your camera that lost Shia this is an example of the Shia you see he was fabricating numbers in the book of etc in the hadith etc he said this is weak that's it Shia this is what Shia do scam you learn how to deal with the Shia now they practice taqiyya 24 hours, 7 days a week. Right away, he fabricate for me a number. Hello? Hello, everybody. Yes, my Hello, friend. Yes. Go ahead. Are you there? Um, I'll... Your voice is cutting. Sorry. You have bad internet, my friend. Sorry, I can't take your call. All right. Hello. Christian friends yes you're absolutely amazing God bless you brother thank you my friend God is good that's all well yeah unless you want to <laughs> chat <laughs> but, do I don't you, mind. but do you see how they lie I mean do you see how amazing they lie 
they fabricate yeah. numbers they fabricate books they fabricate titles and when you hear them you think you're like oh maybe he's saying the truth you know like okay you know he's look look how fast he gave me the number even christian prince cannot do that everyone was started laughing when he said skype is not the internet <laughs> skype is not the internet but but you see he, he it's made created, by sticks <laughs> he created yeah it's a stick he created he created a number he created a, a book he created a chapter um in the book of a sahih al etc like what the hell is that <laughs> yeah <laughs> the one i'm showing yeah. you in the screen this is the highest resource for muslims this is not a joke this is the right. biggest Shia library in the world. I see it and I show it in the screen. So right. when he's when when a when a Muslim always he say to you, this is what I'm trying to teach the Christian here. When a Muslim he says something to you, tell him, show me. Don't let it go. Because right. they assume if you notice the one before him is a Sunni, they are the same scam. When we get him busted in the corner, right away he starts talking about the gospel because now, oh, I need to escape, I need to escape. Let us talk about something else. This is very embarrassing. Let us go, let us go and, and fabricate lies about the Old Testament. Mm. So what they do, they throw rocks and they run and they change the topic. What the Christians usually do, they start refuting what they said about the Bible and that will make them get away from the first topic. This is what the Muslim he want. The Muslim, he wants you to forget yeah. how stupid his cult, and now to focus in your you defend. The best way to uh, to 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 defend is to attack, according to them. So, so what we do? Here we go. He said to me that if this is a book from Shaitan, then how this book is teaching good things? How you say that Islam Muslims are strict? I never said Muslims are strict. Islam is the most lousy religion. You can marry women every day. You can have sex with four women in the same time. You can, right. you know, it's a, a, a muta. There's even the Muslim Sunni today. They change the name of a muta, and they have a different names. There was your friend, a boyfriend, but they call it marriage, but it's it's not. So all of them, and this is my advice for the Christian: when you debate with the Muslim, don't let him get away with it. When he says something, say to him, "Show me." Right, right. All right, my friend. Anything else? Uh, I have a quick question. This this may be a. a totally off topic but okay. it's related to islam um I, I came across a uh a muslim he, he claims to be muslim his name is wesley muhammad mm -hmm. he uh he states that allah is a man and he goes to surah 4251 that speaks about how allah communicates through a hijab and that hijab is a uh, like a second allah like a visible tangible allah and that apparently muhammad saw Allah's young golden face. Are you familiar with, with this literature? Yeah, but I will I will prove it to you in a different way that Allah absolutely is not a man. I mean, God, Allah is a joke, is a is a fiction story. But you know, the, the, I don't know if you saw the Muslim, they say how God can be born, right? Yeah. How God can be born. They say the 10 reason Jesus cannot be God because God cannot be born. The second you say God cannot, that's mean he cannot be God. For Muslims, God can be stupid, but he cannot be born. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. If we go in the Quran, in the Hadith, you will find that Muhammad, if you remember, we mentioned before, that Muhammad, he claimed that his God will come in a shape other than the one which the Muslims, they knew. You, you saw me speaking about this story before, correct? I, I think so, yeah. All right. Now, if God cannot be born, and Allah will come in a new shape, isn't it this is a re be born again? For sure, not in the Christian meaning. When yeah. Allah is coming in a new shape, isn't it this is a born, newborn shape? How God cannot be born, and yet how God he have a shape. And if Allah is not a man, what the shape of this person and why he is a change in his shape? And what what happened to the first shape? So now because we now we have two physical shapes: Allah number one and Allah number two. So what Allah did, Allah number one did to Allah number two when he became Allah number two. He hang himself in the closet or both they are walking together. And so would you say that this is a, an example of a very early form of like a trinity, but in a very walking No, no, manner, it's, just like a, it's, just a, it's, it's just a stupid man, you know, making, making up stories. Muhammad, he cannot stop making poo, poo He cannot stop making poo, -poo. This guy, you know, like, like uh, in, the, in the Middle East, when there is somebody he is so naive and they want to, like, we have a tradition, you want to go and ask for a daughter of somebody to marry you. 
so if you are naive the parents will say to you when you go there don't open your mouth don't talk don't talk why because the second you talk they will know that you are a fool Muhammad he cannot keep his mouth shut so he keep talking and telling stories and here we go Muhammad is coming with the stories that Allah have shape number one and shape number two as long as Allah has a shape uh, remember Allah is a physical shape Muslims all of them agree that Allah is not a spirit and he has no spirit but yet he is a physical being so, so now so doesn't this doesn't this then help the Ford Muhammad interpretation that that that, that particular subset group the the uh, what's it called a nation of Islam that believe that Ford Muhammad is Allah a, a black man well you know there is many sect many has a I, I cannot judge other sect by you know by they create their own stories and their interpretation but I, I focus on Muhammad himself I will go this is Muhammad is speaking okay. that his God he have a shape and he changes shape so when Allah he changed his shape that's mean he is a changeable correct right okay but the yeah. Muslim they say Allah never change how you say to me Allah yeah, never change yeah, but he's a yeah. changeable and when we talk about the shape that's mean he have taught a different look to the point even the Muslim they did not recognize him and they thought he is a shaitan to the point they say to him they will say we seek refuge with Allah from you so here Allah is reborn again with a new shape and the Muslims would not like his shape then Allah will come to them with the shape which they like so Allah will come to them when our Lord come to us we will recognize him then Allah will come to them in a shape they know and they, he will say I am your Lord and then the Muslim they will say no doubt you are our Lord so the Muslims are shape worshipper they are not worshiping God he will their God himself just because he changed his shape they don't follow him no more are you following my idea so exactly so then the question I would have for a Muslim is in this life how do you know that that's Allah's shape or not like what is it isn't what, this what they do with Jesus Jesus he came to them in a shape they don't like yeah exactly yeah <laughs> that's what they did with Jesus so here we go yeah they, yeah they do they will do the same with their God exactly as they are doing with Jesus because they did not like the shape of Jesus he came in the shape of a man how God can be a man you know so yeah, this and, is exactly that's, what that's a brilliant way of yeah that's that's brilliant because then this would the, yeah I mean John chapter 1 is uh, verse 14 the, the Logos became flesh you can use this as a means to polemically refute the theology well in different Amen. hadith in different hadith Muhammad he said clearly that Allah is the Messiah let me show you Muhammad is, is a very stupid man very confused <laughs> yeah anyway. the more I watch your interactions with Muslims the more I, I'm noticing that the madness huh the Prophet said I have told you so much about the Antichrist okay Muhammad now he is the philosopher who will tell us what the Antichrist that I am afraid that you may not understand and then he continues saying the Antichrist is short okay entered woolly haired one eyed and eye sightless and neither protruding nor deep-seated if you are confused about him know that your Lord which means Allah is not one eyed but hold on Muhammad here is making a big poo-poo this is should be compared between the real Christ and the false Christ because the Muslim they believe the Antichrist is not just an Antichrist it's, they call him a Dajjal which means somebody claim to be the Messiah he is a false Christ you see here they put for you the word Antichrist the fact it's not it does not exist here this is al Masih al Dajjal a Dajjal is the false Messiah someone will come and will say I am the Messiah worship me so what Muhammad saying to them right. You need to notice here you might not understand I'm worried you might be confused what is the confusion about about the look but remember the Dajjal or the false Messiah he look as a man so why Muhammad is worried about how Allah look and how the false Messiah look and he says the only difference between them is one eye if Allah is not a man ah right so, and they're connecting it back to that shape that you're talking about right ago. but here you yeah. see it's very clear he's comparing a man to God and what is the difference between them one eye the, the, the one eye yeah. he didn't say anything else 
he confirmed that Allah have an eye the same as an eye of a man but the different is that this guy at the jail he have a problem with the right eye now isn't it true that in the Bible I think in Zechariah it speaks about the false prophet having a, 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 a he's injured in one eye and He's known as the idle shepherd. Well, he, I you know, Muhammad always, all, all the story of Muhammad is coming from somewhere. Yeah, so this is why the title today, uh, Quran story is made by who? All the stories right. of Muhammad is coming. From, Muhammad is not really, you see Muhammad, he hears stories and he adds some spices. Hmm. You know, he's like a CNN. Then speaking of which, like, um, one thing that's fascinated me is the, the what Satan Iblis, Iblis, Iblis who did not worship Iblis. Uh, Adam in mm. in heaven. Mm. What what fascinates me is is why that's even wrong because surely you should only worship Allah and not Adam. Like why why was he punished for not worshiping Adam? Well, uh, for, uh, the Muslim they say uh, Allah he order uh, the angels to bow down because the angels they accuse Adam that he will do commit a sin and here we see that the story here is a very stupid story because adam commits sin <laughs> <laughs> okay i mean you are punishing them for accusing adam to commit sin but he commits sin which means they are right and allah is wrong so right uh, 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 but i want to show you here as, as you mentioned uh, you mentioned this story i want to show you the stupidity of allah in the quran you know that in the Bible it says that God he he taught Adam the names. He taught Adam the names, and Muhammad he took that. But look what he made of it. In the Quran, the story became so funny and so stupid. Let us read together. The angels. When Allah he told the angels, <clears throat> he told them. Behold, the Lord said to the angels, I will create someone to inherit the earth. They said, Will thou place therein a one who will make mischief and therein and will shed blood? So the angels they made a very clear claim that Adam is going to do mischief. And yeah, then, he's gonna uh, send <laughs> Yeah, and then Allah he said to them, uh and we are the one who uh, celebrate you and praise you and glorify your holy name Allah he said to them I know what you know not and here the story is the cartoon the Mickey Mouse start I know what you know not which means Allah is going to get them busted like Christian press so let us see how Allah <laughs> how Allah he knew what they knew not look what he said and he taught Adam the names of all things then he placed for them them placed them before the angels which means the, the things he named things and he told Adam the names and he placed all the things in the front of the angel and he said to them tell me the names of those things if you are right right about what right about Adam will do mischief meant and he will shed blood which means his his, 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 his seeds so tell me the names of those things if you are right so Allah now is trying to prove to them that you have no knowledge and I am the one who knows but look how stupid this method to prove that he is God and he knew everything imagine I have a cat I call her Susu and I say to you do you know the name of my cat you say no I say see I told you I'm God her name is Susu if he is the one who taught <laughs> you know what I mean if he is the one who yeah. named the name of things what about we do it in the opposite way what about he said to the angels go and name things and come back to me and ask me about what you named them then I will tell you that would be amazing correct yeah, but you are the one who named them and then you ask them tell me the name of those things and then you say to them the names and That to prove that you are God That right. is the most stupid story ever anyone who will write a story can come with <laughs> I mean this 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 is on the same level as um, the, the the myth about Abraham in the fire of the Chaldeans uh, based on a mistranslation of the word or uh, that uh, a Hebrew scribe, not realizing it's Ugaritic, translates the Hebrew word or, which means city, to mean fire. And then that mm. enters into the Quran, and Allah did not know the difference between Ugaritic and Hebrew or Aramaic. Allah, Allah, you know nothing. And here you notice, by the way, there's a mistake yeah. here. 
Allah he says that he, he will send somebody to inherit the earth but that's mean there's people who used to live in the earth before and that's and that in total agreement with the Sabian the Sabian they believe that there was people before who live in earth and most likely they are angels if you know the story of Harut and Marut Harut and Marut where Allah he sent two angels to open a magical school Hori Buddha chapter 2 this is fascinating I have no idea about this go, go ahead I have no yeah. idea what this is Allah he decided to open a school in Iraq in the Babylon to open a school to teach magic and Hori Potter he won't there as you see so he sent angels and the angels <laughs> Harry Potter <laughs> yeah sorry I say it maybe my accent is uh, you know I have an no, accent no no, as no. You know. no 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 it's it's good it's yeah. it's it's pretty much on point it's yeah. accurate chapter 2 chapter 2 verse 102 it says that Allah he sent two angels in the Babylon one of his name is Harut and one his name is Marut and by the way they are my cousins and those cousins of mine they open a school in the Babylon before you join the school those angels they will make you sign a disclaimer they will say they but those they neither taught anyone such a thing which means magic without saying we are only a trial so don't do blasphemy disclaimer disclaimer <laughs> <laughs> oh boy and and yet they say to us this is the book of god then if we go in the details we will find that so what's the logic that that's only a trial what, what's the logic there well why, allah, why did allah uh, do that muhammad he want to explain how magic is exist you know so uh, okay there is a these legions all of those are legions was exist before muhammad that there is two uh, uh two angels their name is uh, you know this is why you see the names are weird they are not arabic names and they came in the babylon tower because the babylon is the elevator of, of god so allah he sent them in the babylon and uh, uh you know when they they went when they were sent down they opened a school because allah he sent them that for that school uh, but in the same time oh, to teach them about the Babylon story but at the same time to punish them yeah but and, and, uh, look no there's two stories here this is the Quran okay. the Quran the Quran is okay, a plain ahead. story it doesn't go in details but if you go in other books they will say that Harut and Marut you see if you go in the verse which we spoke about before where the angels they say to Allah are you going in chapter and uh, 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 you know, we'll talk about uh, are you going to create someone who will inherit the earth? So they said to him, uh, and he was going to do mischievement. In this story here, supposedly the angels, they when they challenge Allah, Allah he said to them, Okay, I want you to send me to choose two of your best, and from those two, I'm going to send to earth and I will strip them from. Uh, uh, from the power of angels which mean they will not be uh, uh, you know they, they, I will give them desire like a human being desire for sex desire for food you know so right. Right. Uh, uh, so they choose two angels and they are Harut and Marut and then Harut and Marut when Allah he sent them down uh, a woman who is very beautiful Came to them. Her name is Al Zuhra, Al Zuhra, which means Venus. Here you can tell where this story coming from. Ah, like a pre-Islamic uh, astrology. Correct. So right. Al Zuhra, Al Zuhra, uh, is Venus, and uh, uh, Venus came to them, and she uh, uh, she is very beautiful. So they could not resist her beauty. And uh, you know she, uh, they ask her to sleep with them. Uh, so when when they ask her to sleep with them, she said, "If you do things for me, I will try to find you the story. So it show it in the screen. Uh, if you if you want to sleep with me, you have to do three things. Number one, you have to kill a child. Number two, you have to drink wine. Number three, you have to de to 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 deny Allah that is God." In the same time, she asked them to give him, to give her, the password to go to heaven. 
so to make the story uh, uh, simple uh, a Zohra she was able to sleep with the two angels have sex with them and they gave her the password to heaven but when she went up to heaven the news came to Allah and Allah cursed her and he made her Venus <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> yeah and uh, if any Muslim here he don't believe in what we are saying we can show you the reference you know I can is, find it is this chronologically is this before the creation of Adam like wh when's when's the timeline of, of these events in there's no the universe's other, history obviously like there's, if, there's no there's no time even for this is the, this is fiction but obviously this has happened yeah, yeah. before mankind is created supposedly okay. but at the same time you, you find in the story there's something stupid I mean how you say to them you want to kill a child if there's no mankind right when they were in the tent a guy who opened the, the door of the tent and he found them naked with her and he told them I'm going to tell everybody what you did so the women she told them go and kill him and this is how they killed him so how there is no right. mankind so it's it's a you know uh, it's a madness it's a collection of stupid stories and Muhammad he is the collector so does this connect with the the worship of the black stone and the 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 where they walk a certain direction a certain like they, they walk when they do the Hajj they walk in a certain direction because it's all based on that pre-islamic astrology and uh, uh, everything pagan, like a form of paganism yeah everything Muhammad he yeah. have every story not necessarily connected Muhammad is a collection is a Muhammad is a walk of video of fairy tale stories any story he hear he put it in the Quran right away or he put it in his hadith anything he like he find it interesting right away he accept it and he make it as it is a true story so you find the story as an example of the seven sleepers which is a fiction story written by Yaqub Astoriani who is a Syrian bishop uh, uh, originally and he wrote a story about how Christians today they are discriminated but tomorrow will be victorious Muhammad he heard the story he put it in the Quran and just to show you how funny Muhammad when he make a story the story is a beautiful by the way nothing wrong with the story even though it's fiction but all the Christian knew that this is a fiction story but look what happened Muhammad when he want to write any story or let us say add a story to his book he have to add his spices otherwise people they will notice right away that he is copying exactly word by word and by because of that Muhammad he make it funny read with me this uh, I don't know if you can see my screen my friend no I, yeah I, I'm okay. seeing it on YouTube chapter 18 verse number 22 it says some they say they were three and this is supposed to be the, the 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 guys who they are Christians so Allah talking now not Muhammad some they say okay what they say they are three and their dogs is fourth and others they say they were five and their dog is being six and other they say they were seven and their dog is number eight I mean what this is about tell us what the number man <laughs> right what is, what is the number and what is this dog no hold on okay the dog here is an addition this is this is a different story this is a different level of the stupidity I will go there later but or no, no first of all when you count a human being you don't say and their dog is number four because they are from oh, different yeah, yeah. kind. Yeah. We don't yeah. say four men and one apple. <laughs> you know? <laughs> right. That is stupid. So they say there are three dogs because they, this is the question they ask Muhammad how many they are. And Muhammad do not know what to say. So they say uh, three and their dog is number four. And they say they're, they, uh, by the way, here he skipped something. He skipped like his jump from three and their dog is number uh, four. What about you say you should say and uh, and they are four and their dog is number five <laughs> he, right, he skipped right. that and then he says say my lord know the best of their number what is the number <laughs> Allah knows best <laughs> I mean have you ever heard of a stupid thing like this now if we go here to the Arabic text in Arabic it says this is the word dog supposedly but the original word is not kalbahum it is kaliahum which means their protector 
protector ah interesting the, the Christian story the fiction Christian story is saying that God he provided him with an angel who he blocked the cave door so the army cannot get a close and that makes sense I mean a dog is going to protect an uh, will fight an army <laughs> I mean right one dog a king is sending an army to kill the those Christians and then a dog he stand in front of the cave and he make the army run away that would be a joke so the dog the, box yeah Muhammad he is copying the story but he mixed up between Kalbahom and Kaliahom Kaliahom is what is in the Christian story which means their provider and protector which is an angel and this is why you will see it says that this this dog he was opening his arms basiton dharai dogs don't have arms my friend they don't right. they have four legs so when muhammad he says basiton dharai he is copying the story from the christian uh, uh, fiction book again this is not a real story this is a fiction story but muhammad is copying from there and he is m missing up the story so the dog he was opening his hands his arms sorry and supposedly by doing that he is like uh, guarding them you know basiton dirai he protect them so he, they, they cannot get in uh what what muhammad here doing is simply a copy paste but he miss some translation or let us say uh, he, he lost in in the details read with me here it says though what's what have deemed them awake so you think they are awake but allah made them sleep whilst they were asleep and we turned them on the right and in their left side the writer of the story he explained how they can survive all those years so uh, the angel he made them flip from the right to the side to the because they are asleep totally asleep they are not aware and then their dog is stretching forth his here they, they put here his two four legs have you ever heard of such a statement two four legs <laughs> Uh, two four legs what, what, this, what, what does that mean this is two? directly in the Quran right this is Surah it's, in the, it's in the front of us yeah this is a chapter 18 yeah. verse number 18 in Arabic yeah. it says he opened his two hands his two arms if we change the translator we will find the following just change the translator you will see how the translation changed in a speed of light proving the 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 fictions of Muslims uh, if we go to let us see big all right. By by the way, I have Usama Dakdok's translation, that, and I'm that's comparing good. it with that's with good. That, yeah. You see here it says, and the dog stretching out his bows. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> but in Arabic it says his two hands. They are trying to cover the problem here, and everybody try to come with the fictions. What we will say? I mean, come on, how, how a dog can have a two hands? But because the original story is speaking about an angel. Who open his two arms or two wings to protect them? Let us see the front translation. Uh, uh, pa, 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 pa. Let us see Shakir. So wait, if if this was a dog, I'm just saying for the sake of argument, if this was a dog, hmm. that means you have a dog standing on its two hind legs <laughs> and its two front legs are stretched out in the air, saying, "Go away." <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't or, make or sense like anyway. That. I mean, what the dog yeah. can do anyway. Actually, if you go into the tafsir, they say that the dog he was a cook. <laughs> He's a you cook. Know, he cooked for them. Yeah, some 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 stories they say he was a cook. Oh my! Yeah, gosh. I have I have I used to have a dog. He cooked for me always. <laughs> this, you know, you know this this would be a gold mine of of like a comedy <laughs> show. You you should seriously think about it. You should just make a comedy show. My friend, Honestly. I have I have almost nine hundred right now watching because this is a comedy show. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, my friend, thank you very much for calling. Let us see no if we God, can get more calls. You thank you busted the Muslims, that's for sure. Thank you, my friend. Take care. Take care. You know, when you speak to Muslims, you have you have to play their game. They don't they don't debate. They are gamers. They are just gamers.
they will never answer a question the second you you hit hard straight away they will jump speak about the old testament do you know that loot his daughter they had sex with him okay and how you say that the jews corrupted their book but they did not burn that pages they can burn it as long as those people corrupted their book and what this have to do with god anyway if i do such a thing yes you said uh, are you earlier. going to answer or not hmm? are you going to answer or not i wanted to finish a uh... A topic we did not finish hmm. about the breastfeeding no no this is my um, topic i ask you how your prophet how your prophet that, order you, you mother didn't, your mother did not to, ask me that i did ask you that it's not me it's the other person oh other person okay well, what what was yeah. the topic we talk about me and you <laughs> i began with saying uh, how do you worship the the gods beside the one true God, like the God of Jesus. I ask you, and then we all right. I ask you, then, I ask you, do you have I, any I, other then, creator? Then, wait, wait, hmm. and then before that, um, you mentioned that Muslims do not like the shape God came in, like man, like we reject your God when hmm. you became a man because we do not like it. Hmm. And I'm saying, and I'm saying, if, if, you, if you think that's a bad thing to look at a human and say, Well, I, God is not a human, hmm. how do you know? You're not gonna. Um, you're not going to believe in the Antichrist as mm. God if he claims to be, because you believe in Jesus even though he did not claim to be God. Mm. But this Antichrist will say, "I am God." Mm. So how do you know you're not gonna follow him? Okay, let me how ask you. You, you said you just said because, that I believe in Jesus. Exactly. Hold on, hold on. You said I believe in Jesus, but he did not claim to be God. You are getting your prophet busted because the Quran say that the Christians say that Jesus is Allah. So why you are lying? Isn't it the Quran says? Isn't it the Quran says that the Christians they say that the Messiah is Allah Himself? The Quran says hmm. that Christians claim that God, that Jesus is God, hmm. but it also says hmm. uh, the, the, the Quran says okay. uh, on behalf of Jesus, like okay. Jesus said, okay. I have never said to them that I am God. Hmm. Jesus said that in the Quran, but that that's Jesus he said that to them. Then let, let me show you what Jesus said. Hmm. Well, I'll show you. Do you want me to show you? But that's beside the topic. No, no, no. It, it's it's the topic. Why you you, you just no, mentioned? I, it. Why you don't want to talk about it? Why you don't want to? Why you don't want to talk? I am asking. I, I I'm asking you. My, how do you know you're not going to worship the Antichrist? He claims friend, to be God. Okay, hold on. Let me because, ask you. Let me ask you then. Why, he, why your prophet? He, okay, hold on. Why your prophet? He compare between the look of Allah and the look of Antichrist. If the Antichrist looked like Jesus. Just answer my question. Why, I'm, why I'm asking you. The, no, no. the Antichrist would claim no, to be God. Not, no. I'm asking you no. now. The Antichrist will claim to be God and he looked like Jesus supposedly because he's a man So why Muhammad yeah. is afraid that you will be confused about him and you might think that he is God He said if you That's are a... confused about him okay. About who about the Dajjal? It's not an Muslim, Antichrist. Muslim. This is not Antichrist. This mm -hmm. is a Dajjal, Al -Dajjal the Dajjal, the false okay. Messiah. Okay, so the false okay. Messiah If you are confused about him know that your Lord is not one-eyed where is the confusion coming from? How you as a Muslim will be confused and Muhammad is describing the look of a man and he's saying at the mm -hmm. end that the only difference between them is one eye. That's mean your God is a man. You're, you're adding words. He's, he did not say that only difference. Well, but here anyway, we go. It says, here uh, we go. It's in front of you. No, anyway, I'm not adding. I'm not adding. Anyway, no, 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 no. Anyway, get me busted. No, 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 anyway. no. Don't, don't say anyway. Don't tell me anyway. I don't accept that. Get me busted. It says the only difference is one eye. Don't it, lie. It's in front show of me, you. Show, show. Show me what it says. Here we the go. Only your prophet show. describing the, the size. Your prophet describing. Okay, hold on. If your God first is not a man, why do you will be confused about him and the man? Don't ask me. Don't, don't ask me. Show me where it says. I'm showing difference. you. He count for yes, you the me. look, and then he says you should know it's not, that your it's Lord. Not, you're, after you're he adding. count all the you're, description, you're, you're I am not adding. After he all, he said all the description adding. said you should know. If you are confused about him, know that your Lord is not one eyed. So the difference between them is what. Anyway, the, the most important thing. What is the different your prophet mentioned here? What is the different what? your prophet mentioned between this fat man, this fat short man, and your God? What is the difference between them? Muslims know this is not the question. Is. Answer me. What is the no. difference between the description of your prophet of the fat short man who have a curly hair and mm. Allah? Is it is it the only difference is one eye? Yes or no? 
Okay, you think the Quran? I am not thinking. Words. I want an answer. Wait. You see, you I'll see, answer. your Muslims are I'll your answer. your Muslims are like 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 oil in the hand. You don't catch me. You cannot catch me, right? You cannot play okay. that with me. I'm Christian Prince. What is the only difference your prophet he mentioned? So you will not be confused about the false Messiah and Allah. What is the only difference he mentioned? Very easy. Just just give me a time to. Answer. What is the only difference he mentioned? Okay, I'll answer in the way I want to. Okay, so you believe that the Quran is the words of Muhammad. Shut okay? up. No Give me what the, the Quran, only different he the shut up. You are a liar. You will not answer. You are in the corner. What is Sam. the only different between Allah look and the man, the fat man look according to your prophet? What is the only different? Islam is a comprehensive religion. See, you are, you are a potato. Guys, you see, the, you see how they are. Get lost. Islam. Get lost. Let your mom call me. I want the man of the house to call me. Islam is the community. Islam is the community. If you're a prophet saying that the only difference between them is one thing, how are you going to answer or we play games? He didn't answer my question. Well, I want you to answer me. Why no, you're a prophet? He says the why, only difference between them. Why the only difference? I am. You, you see, you are the one who need to answer now. No, I why, didn't answer your question. Why you're a prophet? You're not going to worship the Antichrist. I'm not going to worship the Antichrist. It's you Muslims. You, you see, your prophet no. is worried. Your prophet no. is worried that you will worship the Antichrist, not me. You're a prophet no, saying that you Muslims, he's worried. You're a prophet okay, speaking to you. Muhammad here okay. speaking to who? He's speaking to the Abdul, who jump in the water, have dead dogs and women of blood from period, who drink camel urine. That is not me. Stop, sir, sir, so, stop, uh, so, so now, uh, so Muslims, listen, no. you're a prophet speaking to listen who to here? Listen you're a prophet to me. speaking. To me. We don't believe in the listen Dajjal. We don't believe listen in the Dajjal. Hold on. Listen we don't believe me. in this guy. Now, who me. is the guy who your prophet is speaking about? Is a Masih Dajjal. Thank you very much. Speaking to who? To the Muslims. He is saying to who? To the Muslims. What he is saying that the only difference between them is one eye. Do you agree or not? You, as a Christian, you do not have a problem with the, with God. Answer the question. Man. Answer so the question. Will, Answer worship, the you, question. You he is talking to you, you will, not to me. You we don't. We don't Antichrist. follow Muhammad. We don't follow Muhammad. You, you are a coward. You will not answer. Why you are a prophet is afraid that you will be confused between the look of Allah and the look of a normal man. Because people like you think God. Can He's be talking a man to the Muslims. He's talking to the Muslims. People like me people are like Christians. You. People, people like, like you. me, you are a liar. You are a potato. Let your people, mom call me. Go ahead. Get lost. Don't call me again. I have no time for kids. People like me. I don't believe in this garbage in the front of me. People like me. This is written for people like you. And you are a coward. You speak day and night that God is not a man, and yet your prophet comparing your God to a man, and the only difference between him and the man is one thing, the eye. Yes, my friend. Uh, CB. Yes. Um, there's one thing I want to tell you. I'm sure that you can't debate this a uh, certain one. Uh, there's a person that you cannot debate, and it's you yourself, CP. You are very good, CP. <laughs> uh, you are saying I cannot debate someone. His name is CP. Uh, I cannot debate myself. You mean? You can't debate yourself, CP. Right, I will lose. I know. I yeah, yeah, because I'm scared. Because how? <laughs> yeah, you lose, you lose, you lose. <laughs> yeah, thank you, my friend. Yeah, yeah. so the, if yes, I want the audience to know that there, there's one person that you cannot debate, and that person is yourself, CP. So we are, we are, we are just hoping that you do more good and well, I, more I, work. I, yeah. I, yeah, I say, yeah, I say that I'm just joking. The only one nobody can debate with, nobody can argue with, is God. I am no one, my friend. I'm servant of God, trying my best. Thank you very much for calling. Thank you. Anything all else? Right, all right, all right, thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> this is a very stupid cult. And here you, you know, you Christians should learn how the Muslims, they change the topic in a second. How you worship Jesus. Jesus never said, I am God. The whole Bible is saying Jesus is God. Jesus, when they ask him to show us the Father, God, he said, I am with you. All this time, I did not recognize me. I am with you. They are not asking him if you are with us or not. They are asking him, show us God. And he said, the one who saw me, he saw the Father. Where Jesus says, I am God. What a liar. Muslims are copy-paste.
actually I can prove from the Islamic books that God is Jesus without even using a single verse from the Bible Do we have any Muslim would like to give us a call? You see, I have patient. I let you. I losing my voice. Keep repeating the same question. How many times, guys? Each time I ask a Muslim a question, I have to repeat it. Do you know this? Because they won't answer. They will never answer. They will jump to a different topic. They will jump from a topic to a topic to a topic like monkeys. How are you saying Islam is a strict religion? I never said Islam is a strict religion. Islam is a larger religion. Islam is a religion without panty. Islam is the most perverted religion ever. Where is the strict? Even the hijab <clears throat> was not because Muhammad, he cared for Muslim women, because Omar was spying at the wife of Muhammad and he was liking their ass. Yes. What is the hijab is about? The Muslim they lie to us and they say hijab because we are conservative. You are not conservative. Omar was making fun of the ass of Sauda. Arifnaki ya Sauda. Oh, we recognize you, Sauda. Recognize what? How you recognize her from her ass? And this is why Omar he said. Allah he sent the Quran as I said as I said what you said I am the one who said make hijab I am the one who said make the Kaaba the worship a place Omar said, and look here by the way, the first translation of the Muslim, this is why I say, be careful when Muslim translate, he says here, I agreed with Allah in three things, but in Arabic it says, Wafaqani Rabbi fi thalat. My Lord agreed with me in three things. My Lord, I said, Oh Allah, would you that take the station of Abraham as a place of prayer? Allah he agreed he took as uh, uh, Omar he said he put it in the Quran we give it to Muhammad right away I said that people before they enter the to the house of Muhammad they have to ask for permission and the mother of the believers they have to cover themselves Allah he sent the verses as I said Muhammad told by Omar and Omar told the wife of Muhammad, if you don't behave, Allah will divorce you and replace you. Hello? Hello. Yes, my friend, Abdul Rahim. How are you? Abdul Rahman. I'm fine. Uh, and you? I'm all right. What do you want to say to us, Abdul Rahman? Um, well, uh, I've been uh, following uh, uh, you for quite a while, so... Yeah, <laughs> I thought uh, let's uh, let's call you once. Uh, did you um, decide? Did you decide to leave Islam or not yet, my friend? Uh, not yet, actually. Okay. Do you? What do you think about this uh, hadith in front of us that Allah He agreed with Omar? How God He agreed with Omar? Uh, sorry, uh, which one? Oh, this, the, the hadith um, we are showing the screen. I don't know if you can see the screen. Omar, he said that Allah uh, agreed with me. Allah agreed yes. with me in many things. And one of them, as an example, he said that Allah, he is the one. Uh, 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 you know, took from me to make the Kaaba a place of worship. I said, oh, uh, oh, messenger of Allah, read the hadith with me. I said, oh, Allah, messenger. 
why do not take the maqam of Ibrahim a place of a prayer then the following verse revealed and take your people to maqam of Ibrahim as a place of prayer exactly as Omar he said why Omar he says something right away Omar uh, Omar word became Quran who is Omar he's a prophet <laughs> uh, actually I'm a Shia oh you are a uh, Shia Muslim well, the Shia, no problem. Yes. We can go to the Shia. The Shia, they have a lot of funny stories too. Do you want me to share some stories right. about the Shia with you? What do you think about the Shia belief? Well, I'm I'm actually uh, confused uh, lately uh, uh, about it. Uh, <laughs> I am uh, uh, born in uh, Europe, and uh, especially uh, lately, I've uh, I've had many uh, doubts about. The belief, but the problem is that the Shia, um, I can't uh, find uh, much in uh, English. Uh, uh, I don't speak uh, mm. good Arabic, so yeah. But um, you know, but 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 at the end of the day, you you have to take the Quran at least, right? And the Quran is yes. still is a stupid book. It doesn't matter if you are a Shia or a Sunni. So the Quran itself is being stupid and the, the Shia books is the same as garbage. I mean, when when your biggest scholar, he say that if you wear a black shoe, your penis will not work. I mean, obviously, this guy is a scam, right? What? If you wear a black shoe, uh, your penis, you, you will lose vision. I don't know. How good is your vision? Uh, how good your vision? Uh, is, do you wear glasses? Yes. Oh, see, I think you are wearing black shoes then. Are you wearing black shoes, my friend? Uh, well, I have uh, many shoes, actually. Many. Well, you are a rich guy, not like me. For me, I wear only black shoes. So, and this is what happened to me exactly, as in the hadith. It says, "Babu karahati lipsunnal," hadith number five nine three one. He said, "An Abi Abdullah alayhi salam annahu nadra ila baadi ashabihi wa alayhi naalun sauda." Abi Abdullah, may Allah bless him, he said that he look at some of his companion and they are wearing a black shoe so he said to them what's up with you with the black shoe don't you know that is going to damage your vision which means your eyes and is going to make your penis useless <coughs> hmm? and then he advised them actually to wear yellow shoes because if you wear yellow shoes your penis would be powerful So what do you think? Okay. Uh, this is in uh, uh, Al Kafi or this is Al Kafi. Let me give you a reference, my friend. This is Al Kafi, yeah. uh, variant number six, page number four six uh, four six five. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and this is in the uh, can be exist in more actually not only one reference like uh, Nawab Nawab Al Amal, uh, page number forty three, uh, uh, Al Khisal ninety nine fifty. Okay. All right. And you know those yeah. those books are full of garbage. I mean, it's all over. It's not like one one time deal. It's madness. It's all over. You know. Mm. As an example, but, uh, you know, if if the watermelon is uh, sweet, it is a Shia. If the watermelon is <laughs> sour, it is Sunni. All right. Yeah. And if you wear white shoes, let, let us talk about shoes today. <laughs> If you wear white shoes, what will happen? Do you know? No, I don't know. Okay. Uh, if you wear white shoes, you will earn a lot of money. And that explains why I'm poor. I never wear white shoes. I'm going to go right now to the mall and buy a white shoe. Should I buy one for you in my way? No. Um... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is uh, weird. I have to admit, actually, uh, many things. But um, yeah. Um, do you know uh, there's a, a guy? Um, his name is Al uh, Al Al, Al uh, Do you know him? Al Ghazi. Yes. Yeah. What about him? He speaks Arabic. Um. 
He's, uh, um, have, uh, have you uh, actually listened to him? Uh, or, oh, you mean uh, this is guy in YouTube? I, I I know somebody from history. His name is Ghazi. Uh, this is a different person. Okay. All right. I know uh, this no, uh, no. new guy. Uh, no, he has, I, I, uh, I never heard of him. Uh, okay. No. Oh, yeah. Never heard of him. So uh, the, the thing what uh, confused me is that uh, he claims that uh, Shia, even they have. Uh, go uh, astray uh, uh, the last uh, centuries, uh, maybe uh, even the last thousand years. So uh, he claims that uh, uh, the the Shia scholars uh, nowadays uh, they uh, they don't really uh, follow the uh, Ahl al Bayt, uh, the teachings of them, and uh, that they are actually. Uh, influenced by the Sunnis, and uh, because the Sunnis were uh, always yeah. But in, what what uh, is power. his source? What his source? Like what book he advised you to read? Then all the Shia books source. Al Kafi. He. Al Kafi. We are laughing now. Aren't you? Aren't you? Didn't you laugh a second ago? This is Al Kafi. Al Kafi is the true okay. resource, right? Okay. Al Kafi yeah. is full of stupid stories. Mm. So if if the Shia were influenced by the Sunni, and the, the following Al Kafi is the right thing. Well, how in the world, like as an example, in in you know, uh, 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 one of the hadith says uh, uh, that Amir al Mu'neen he said that the the servant of Allah they have womb inside them like women, and then they ask him, so why they don't get a bread He said because it's upside down, mankusa, and they have in their anus a, 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 a pimple. The, the same as the pimple of the camel so if they got horny get horny with them if they got if if, if, if this uh, if this pimple uh, be quiet they will get quiet which means they will not be horny so this guy is saying to you uh, oh you are deceived because you follow the sunni they are not following the sunni they are following the shia this is the this is the all those are the hadith of of uh, of your leaders the, the family of muhammad not only leaders the family of muhammad yeah, true. The, the 12 uh, Imams yeah. from the Imams. Yeah. Abi, yes. Abi Abdullah is one of them. He says, uh, uh, if, uh, if, the, uh, if the human being, if your child, uh, like when he is born, if his penis is small, uh, then, uh, he will not be, uh, you know, uh, uh, like he will be he will not be let us say uh, harmful if his penis is small but if his penis is big you have to be watch i mean what 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 what, what penis and what, uh, what you know this, this it's garbage so this guy is asking you to go back to the origin and this is the origin yes but uh, uh, as far as i know uh uh, Shia uh, don't have uh, such uh, hadith like uh, breastfeeding or um, my friend. Yeah. My friend, the, bre the breastfeeding is not a hadith for the Shia or the Sunni. This is was a verse in the Quran. Uh, I mean, uh, that, yeah. This is was a verse, you know. Uh, for in the Quran was not a Shia or Sunni. You know, Quran is not Shia, neither Sunni, Sunni right? True. So as long as it was a verse in the Quran, then how they can say we don't have that? Uh, well, uh, because the hadith that uh, that uh, tells us uh, <laughs> about this uh, Sahih al Bukhari, right? Uh, mm. No. That, okay, we can find you that, something that, equal. We can find you something equal from different book. As an example. Uh, uh, if you go in the book, it's called Wasa'i Shia, Hadith number 259441. It says, mm, I don't know that book. Uh, what is that? Wasa'i Shia. Let me, uh, let me see if I can get you. Uh, hold on, let me search for it and um, uh, get you the reference. Put it in the screen. Give me a second. <laughs> Because I know uh, Al Kafi, but yeah, um, yeah, the same. Also, this is a very authentic book, too. Uh, here it says, uh, Oh, I found this website, but but anyway, 
uh, the guy he is speaking that when he was debating uh, with the Sunni uh, they spoke about uh, breastfeeding for adult uh, let me see mm -hmm. if I can find you I want something else hold on I want the reference right away not here this is just a form <laughs> Yeah, but uh, we don't like uh, uh, Aisha, and uh, yeah, it's actually uh, really different uh, about the uh, Sahaba, the view in uh, Shia Islam, right? Yeah, well, the, the, the Shia, the Shia, they hate Aisha, yes, and they think even they claim that she killed Muhammad. This is the reference here, which I was a Shia. It says. إذا رضع الرجل من لبن إمرأة حرم عليه كل شيء من ولدها. If a man he did suckle a woman, it's forbidden for him everything from her children. Do you see it? So you have Rada al You have the same, you know, breastfeeding for adult. Like, uh, can you uh, repeat it once, please? Uh, the book of Wasail uh, Shia, Hadith yes. number two five nine four one. If a man he suckled from a woman, a woman, a man and a woman, it's forbidden for him anything have to do with her children, which means he cannot sleep with her children. Mm -hmm. hmm. So you have the breastfeeding. This is exactly actually the, the, the Sunni, they are more open for that because if you have, uh, you see, he can sleep with her still, but supposedly he cannot sleep with her kids, which is funny. So the Sunni. They have almost the same thing, but the difference is you can sleep with her and you can sleep with her children. So what's the point of this breastfeeding for adult? No? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, but yeah. Same time, same time, the Quran forbid Muslims to do uh, uh, um, what they call it, adoption, correct? Okay, we forbid them to do adoption, but we allow you to do adoption by breastfeeding, <clears throat> because the Quran confirm if you if you do breastfeeding not only for adult, uh, like the adult you can have sex with the adult even if you do breastfeeding, but if you have if you do breastfeeding for a child, then that child became like your son. So how that can happen? How we forbid adoption and then we say that if a person if a, a baby. He did the breastfeeding for a woman. He became like her son. What is the connection? I don't know. My yeah. friend, I don't know. I, I, for me, I, I am here. I would be happy to hear from you that you decide to leave Islam. This is a stupid religion. Shia or Sunni, it doesn't matter. I can show you tons of reference. All of them, they say the same garbage. I cannot find something, you know, lawful or something logical in, 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 in this cult. So if you think the Sunni are, you know, are stupid, well, you better think twice because the Shia they are not better. No. Okay. Well, um, uh, I want to ask you some uh, uh, questions uh, uh, since you speak uh, Arabic uh, well and you have uh, studied also uh, Shia uh, sources, uh, I guess. So. Mm -hmm. uh, what I've actually uh, heard uh, all my life is that uh, yeah, um, uh, I, I don't know uh, how to call them in uh, English. They say uh, Nawasid. Um, Nawasid, yeah. Like, yeah, uh, they have actually made uh, the... Uh, they have uh, actually caused uh, Islam uh, to get... Uh, um, an ugly image and uh, distorted uh, everything. Uh, uh, even uh, when I uh, when I talk with uh, Shia uh, about this, uh, scholars uh, they say yes, uh, uh, that's uh, true. Uh, the first uh, sixty years of the uh, uh, spread of uh, Islam and even after that was uh, very violent, but uh, that was against. The Ahl al Bayt, uh, uh, what the uh, what the Prophet actually wanted, and 
uh, and the, uh, the, friend, the 12 did, did, Ali, for did, did Ali hold on did Ali according to Islam did kill a lot of people yes or no according to Shia he killed he slaughtered a lot of people even he burned he burned people alive so when they say to you this is the enemy of Islam and this is not right and this is not what Islam Ali himself was a bigger criminal Muhammad himself was a bigger criminal what are they talking about Sunni or Shia it doesn't matter they are lying to you my friend mm, but um, uh, uh, what do they say uh, about uh, Ali then uh, um, yes uh, what did he do like my friend my friend Ali Ali simply <clears throat> Is uh, let us say he was because he, he married the daughters of Muhammad, which is not his daughter, those are the daughters of Khadija. But because he supposedly is close to Muhammad and he is his cousin, correct? Wait, wait, uh, he married uh, Fatima, uh, that's the daughter of Muhammad. Uh, yes, but this is not his daughter. Muhammad didn't have daughter, never have daughters. This is a lie. Muhammad, he cannot have kids. This is why. Uh, uh, there was a guy making fun of him that he cannot have kids. You see, the, the Muslim when they say that Muhammad, he have a child. <laughs> right, you mean right, that? Right, right. When they right, say right, in right, uh, right. yes. Okay. Yeah. So the man who was making fun of him because he cannot have children, and uh, based on that, Allah he made a verse which is very funny. Which does not make sense, and God cannot say, should not say such a thing. If you read together, in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the, the Merciful, uh, this is not in the verse, Muslim added, which means the whole verse is three, the whole chapter is three verses, which is one of the most funny. Surely you have given the Kawsar. What is the Kawsar? The Kawsar is a river which is very pure white. Okay, what does have to do? Why I'm saying to Muhammad, I give you the Kawsar if it's a river? What does have to do with the guy accusing Muhammad that his penis is not working? Therefore, pray to your Lord. Okay, what does that mean? And sacrifice. And then he says, Surely your enemy is the one who shall have without be a uh, uh, But the, the guy, he have many kids. But the fact, the fact, it did not say even he will not have without children. He says he is the after, he is the one who don't have a penis. The Muslim, they say that after here is about not having kids. Okay. Why Allah don't make Muhammad have kids to prove this guy wrong? Instead of making a statement, he is the one who will have no kids. But later we find that Muhammad have no kids. You know what I mean? But, okay. If, but if you are, uh, if you are I, calling uh, me, my yeah. friend, my friend, if you are calling me and making fun of me because I don't have kids, and I am prophet of God, and God decide to defend me, who is the one defending Muhammad here? Allah supports it, right? Mm -hmm, yes. Okay, what is the benefit of saying he is the one who will be cut off? What about making Muhammad having children? So to prove to them that he will go, God can give him children. You know what I mean? Make it happen. Mm. What the point but, is, it's like two women, they are fighting. One of them saying, oh, your husband, he cannot have sex. This is why you can't get a bread net. The other one, she says, it is your husband. He cannot have sex and you will not have babies. This is God talking like this. If God is talking, he should say, "Okay, let me show you." Here we go, Muhammad. Your wife, she will. He have thirteen wives. He could not make one of them bread net. He cannot even. The Muslim they say that his uh, Mary the cop she deliver him a, a child. His name is Ibrahim, which is a big fat lie. Even Aisha, she said he don't even look like you. So. Uh, Muhammad obviously he is a potent man he cannot have sex he, you know even the hadith says that the, the prophet he used to imagine himself having sex when Aisha uh, she tried to play uh, with him uh, Bukhari, right? yeah no uh, problem but here we go the Quran confirmed that the Quran confirmed that Muhammad have a problem and why Allah is promising me a river in a topic which is about a penis why because this al kawsar is a river must be a river of a sperm this is why it's very white like milk so muhammad here is saying that allah he promised me that my penis will work in heaven not here all right but if god is talking he should make muhammad have babies he will go abraham his wife she was old and there's no way she can get a breath net and she give up God, he made Abraham wife get a bread net. 
why Allah cannot make Muhammad do do the same to Muhammad if people are making fun of him and now he is he's not even deaf he is he heard and he decided to defend him so what the point of saying surely he is the one who will have no children it's a stupid conversation yeah. actually um, uh, about that uh, surah um, uh, what I uh, know uh, I'm, I don't know uh, if it is true but uh, they say that uh, the meaning of al kawthar is uh, the daughter of uh, Muhammad uh, Fatima. Uh, uh, this is Shia interpretation. Right. Yeah, Shia, yeah, Shia. They come. What I have heard, but uh, <laughs> uh, I haven't uh, verified it. Or yeah, yeah. You see, and this is one of the stupid things in the in the in Islam. Everyone here we go. One he think it's a river, and one he think it's a daughter. And there's a huge difference. Same time, surely we have given you al kawthar Okay. So the guy is saying to him, "You will not, you will not have a children's." And in, in uh, uh, if if the Shia confirm that we gave you al kawthar that's mean the guy who accusing him is not making an accurate statement because he have al kawthar and this is a daughter, right? But this is not an answer, really. Al kawthar never been a name of daughter of Muhammad. He can say, "We give you Fatima," correct? Yeah, that's true. Uh, um, actually, uh, there are many uh, verses in the Quran. Uh, uh, this one means uh, Ali, uh, uh, the other uh, uh, Hassan, uh, Hussein, and yeah, they fabricate uh, things. I they always, fabricate meaning. I always uh, think, uh, why could uh, uh, why could uh, uh, God not uh, mention it uh, explicitly, like uh, Ali or? Right. Hassan was saying if uh, if they are uh, the the center of but, yeah, my, my uh, friend Shia, they, are Shia the they decide Shia they are the same as the Muslim. Both of them they worship Muhammad and his family. But everyone he have his own way. Uh, you know uh, the Shia they focus in the whole family. The Sunni they focus in Muhammad. But it's the same madness. Both they believe that Muhammad is above mankind. To the point that Allah, He wrote the name of Muhammad. The Shia, they say they wrote even the name of Ali. Correct? That's true. So, yes. so yes. Uh, 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 the Sunni, they say, if not you, Muhammad, Allah never created all mankind. So the whole creation of the world is created because of Muhammad. The Shia, they have the same. If not Ali and Fatima and Muhammad and Hassan and Hussein, Allah created not nothing in this world. Right? Right. Yes. You know, you know That's... the story of of an angel. His name is Fatros. No, okay. I'm not saying it to make fun of you because you're a Shia. Don't be in don't be offended. Okay oh, the... I Actually uh, uh, Before you uh, continue. I uh, I don't know uh, what I am uh, Why you don't uh, say I am out of Islam man. Just say it to me. Come on be a man. You are a man You are smarter than this. Just say I am out of this cult To be honest uh, uh, I want to be hundred percent uh, sure, you know, uh, like my friend, what is more than 100% that all the fabrication you see in the front of you? What kind, what kind of 100% that God do not remember which one he created first, the trees or the stars? What kind of God he says, women they have a sperm coming from their ribs, and all of us we knew women they have no sperm. I mean, what more, what, what more you want? I know, yeah, these are all uh, truth, but okay, I, uh, I promise you that I will. Uh, continue uh, uh, researching these things and then in the future uh, I will uh, call you uh, All right. again and then uh, I will make a decision but uh, I have the uh, I have some questions to, uh, for you uh, All right. uh, there's a guy uh, his name is uh, Hamid uh, Abdus Samad you All know right. him yeah I saw once a video of him All right he's from Germany yeah. in Germany I watched uh, some of uh, some uh, uh, some of his uh, <coughs> uh, videos. They were uh, subtitled with uh, uh, English. So hmm. uh, uh, he was uh, telling about the story of uh, Zainab al Kubra, the hmm. uh, the oldest uh, daughter of uh, Muhammad, hmm. uh, supposedly. Hmm. Uh, he said that uh, Muslims are actually uh, they 
they hide this uh, story. Um, so what he says is uh, that uh, she actually didn't uh, believe in the prophecy of uh, Muhammad uh, in his uh, prophethood. Uh, she didn't become a Muslim and uh, that her uh, husband uh, didn't want to convert to Islam. And uh, it's a long story, uh, he told, but I couldn't uh, find it uh, like uh, the, the way he, uh, he told it. So uh, I just uh, wanted to ask you, uh, is it uh, true that uh, that this uh, Zainab, uh, they, uh, that she. Well, you know the the, the resource. Uh, he's, he's not the lying because if you, I didn't, I did not watch his video, but if you go and check the the reference, you will see. Yes, she did not. You know, obviously she did not. This is why they don't mention her. Why? Why we don't see? Why we don't see people talking about her much? Why her name disappear? What happened to her? You know. That's. Uh... Uh, that's actually uh, what uh, what uh, Hamid was uh, saying. But uh, d uh, do we know the reference uh, for this uh, for this uh, story that uh, that she didn't accept the prophethood of Muhammad? Yeah, like there is there is many there is there is many reference actually. There is many reference about that. Uh, but uh, let me see if I can find you something about it. Uh, now, do you want the reference from the Shia books or the Sunni books? <laughs> well, actually, yeah, both. You know, I uh, uh, the more you have, the the yeah. better. Even uh, external uh, sources. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, I, um, I have to. Uh, to do a full uh, investigation, like not uh, only listen to this uh, Shia guy or that uh, Sunni guy, like everything, even uh, outside, out, uh, you know? So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you have both, then uh, that is better. Well, you know, obviously, isn't it Abu al he was fighting Muhammad? And she was staying with her husband? So if she don't believe, if she believe he is a prophet, why she stay with the man who is fighting her, you know, Muhammad? You know what I mean? Yes. So obviously, like, you know, if you are fighting, or like, I am a Christian, and I have a wife, she is uh, a Muslim. And now we are the crusade, and you are the Muslims, and we are saying Muhammad is false, and you're my wife, she stay with me and support me. <laughs> obviously, she don't believe in Muhammad. Yes, uh, so you can. That's, uh, yeah. That's so, you can right? <laughs> yeah, so you can. Yeah, so you can go and read any reference about about she being married to this man, who is fighting Muhammad, and that will be confirming to us that she is not a believer. Yes, uh, that was actually uh, uh, what I uh, could find on uh, Wikipedia, but uh, explicitly <laughs> mentioning him, uh, I mean her. Uh, not accepting the the prophethood of uh, Muhammad, uh, I I didn't see that. But okay, um, yeah, uh, that's actually um, a good uh, statement. If she uh, supported her husband and if she stayed with him and he didn't want to uh, and he uh, didn't want to become a Muslim, that actually yeah. Why a woman? Oh, yeah, I, why I a woman? She will stay. Why a woman? She will stay with a man who is fighting a prophet of God. Forget about she is being a daughter or being she being a cousin or being anything. If I am a Christian and I believe in Jesus and you you know and uh, I have a woman, let us say, or let us say a Christian woman, she married a man. He want to kill all the Christians. Why she want to stay with him unless she is converted to his cult, his religion? Correct. Especially mm, if she's yeah. afraid to leave. She's afraid to leave. You know, she can go. Nobody can. She can escape. She can take a donkey, a horse, and she can run. So why she is staying with the man who hate her father or he hate Muhammad very much? That doesn't make sense. So any any reference you find about her staying with her husband, you will find that this story confirm what uh, this guy in in the show he was saying to you.
no? Okay, uh, this is uh, found in uh, Sirat uh, Rasulullah or which uh, book? Most of, most of the reference coming from the Sirahs, you know, but there is many reference, not only in the Sirah. There's many. What is that? Uh, Sunni or uh, Shi, uh, Shia? The, the, the Sirah, by the, the way, Sira, the, the, Sira, the Sirah, it was not meant to be Sunni or Shia because both of them, they quote from the Sirah. The Sunni and the Shia, they quote from the Sirah. Okay, but uh, do you know uh, there's a book uh, called uh, Kitab uh, Sulaim ibn uh, Qais? Mm, what about it? Uh, have you have you heard about it? Sulaim ibn ibn what? Uh, Sulaim ibn Qais. Sulaim. The name of the book is what? Uh, Kitab uh, Sulaim ibn Qais. Oh, this is the name of the book. That's the name. Of the book. Yes. Uh, okay. Well, I know. I know the book. This is uh, the, the Al Hilari. I think you are not quoting the whole name. Salim ibn Qais Al Hilari. Correct. Uh, wait. Um, let's uh, let's search it. Salim uh, ibn. <coughs> you know, uh, I don't know. Uh, yes. Yeah, the one, the one I know. The one, the one I know is Salim ibn Qais Al Hilari, not Salim ibn Qais. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sulaim ibn Qais al Hilali al Amri. Yeah, well, you know, they, they keep they can they can keep giving you names uh, to the end. Mm. Yeah, what about him? Um, have you read his book? Not his all of it because uh, you see, uh, uh, for me, I'm not sure if I did read the whole book before a long time ago. I'm not sure reading, I cannot read it, but. Uh, uh, he he spoke about the the camel war about the camel the the war of Safin, uh, you know, um, like w what happened during his time with Imam Al Hassan, right? As I remember. I don't know. Uh, actually, uh, I'm just uh, asking you what. Uh, yeah, this is what I remember uh, about about is... about him. What about uh, what I remember about him? That he is. Uh, you know, like uh, in, in 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 that book, he, there's a collection of information about the war of uh, uh, the Harb uh, Harb al-Jamal between Aisha and uh, Ali. Is that correct? Uh, I know this. Uh, he went. He went uh, all the way. He went all the way war. to Al Basra. Correct. He went to Al Basra. Mm -hmm. He went to Infamil. I don't know this. Uh, to Al Basra. But uh, yeah. To go to join the war, which is the 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 war is called the camel. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah, but I don't really remember much about his book because I don't think his book is too much important. What about it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, um, uh, I uh, I uh, I heard them saying in uh, in Shia Islam that. Uh, this book is uh, it's the first one uh, important. It's the, yeah, it's, it's the first uh, oldest. They say so. I thought, yeah, uh, maybe uh, you know uh, about it. Like I know, but uh, I, did, I did read long time ago, and this is one of one of the first books ever written from the Shia perspective. This is the first uh, book. This is the first book, as I as I remember, was written by the Shia about Shiaism. Hmm. Do you know uh, what the oldest uh, manuscript is uh, uh, surviving of uh, this time? Uh, because uh, how do you know uh, yeah. when this book is written, actually? Well, uh, I, I don't, you know, you see, for us, what we have is what they say. And they say and they claim many reference that he is one of the first people who wrote about the Shia. You know, the, his book is called Salim ibn Qais al-Hilal al-Amiri. You know? I can give you actually. I can find you the reference. I can give you a link. Do you do you speak Arabic? Do you read Arabic? Yes, I read Arabic. But, uh, <laughs> oh, okay, because I can I'm search for it. I can if I want to search for it. I can find it. You know, uh, uh, and uh, you know, there is many things that the, the Shia they try they try to avoid actually in his book. I think because it is there is many different between what he says and what they say in these days. The same as they hide about Zainab. Mm. You know. However, yes. Shia books is a is a collection of contradictions, and that's why you see the Shia today, they are calling each other names. Like I know, I'm sure you, as long as you speak English, 
I'm sure you watch uh, Yasser Al Habib, right? Do you know Yasser, have, uh, Yasser Al Habib? Uh, about him. Uh, I have. Uh, you can search his I name. Have... You can search his name, and you will see he's teaching you about the corruption of the Quran, as an example. Search, uh, search. corruption, right? Yes, uh, I know. Uh, it's actually uh, mentioned in uh, Al Kafi, uh, as I've heard. Right. But uh, the thing that uh, astonishes me, and uh, uh, actually that made me uh, furious is, is 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 that uh, uh, all that uh, all the time uh, when I was a kid uh, uh, until um, maybe five years ago or nay uh, no uh, actually less uh, I always uh, I was told that the Quran is uh, perfectly uh, preserved for no. the last uh, 14 years, but Shia is the last one to believe the Quran preserved. Yeah. The Quran, no, the Shia don't believe that. The Quran, they believe that uh, Al, Al Mahdi, he have with him the Quran of Fatima. He took it with him, yes. and he will bring it when he come back. This is the only book the Shia agree upon. The books which is exist today, the Shia don't even accept for a second. All of them they agree that the Quran is correct. But the Shia, they play taqiyya. So if you speak to a Shia in TV and you are doing like I say debate between a Shia and Sunni Mostly the Shia he will deny that he believed that the Quran is corrupt You know they practice taqiyya, but the Shia in indoor usually they practice that and they say that and there's tons of videos made by Shia themselves In the mosque where the Shia Imam teaching that the Quran today is not the Quran which is given to Muhammad you know? Yeah, so now but, you, but nah. so now you are a Shia, but you have no book. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, uh, yeah, I know uh, I am. I am uh, born in a yeah, you know, in a Shia family. So uh, you I don't. Understand. <laughs> It's not your fault. I understand. Uh, it's, not, it's, not... it's not. You know, it's it's actually really difficult. I mean. Uh, how can I know what really happened uh, uh, 1,400 years ago or 2,000 years ago? I, I don't know. Uh, My friend, uh, there the, the, Shia, no, uh, video the, Shia, <laughs> the Shia, they beat everybody in the world when it's come to fictions. Everybody, nobody can beat the Shia with the fictions. I, I will give you an example. There is an angel, his name is Futros. And I will, I will, I will say the story for you in the Shia way. في ملاك اسمه فطرس هذا فطرس كان ملاك موجب عزيز عند الله وقد أغضب الله فوضعه في الجزيرة وقال له الله هل أعزبك أو أقاديك يوم القيامة فقال فطرس أو ربي عزبني اليوم وليس يوم القيامة فقام الله وكسر جناحيه وأرسله إلى جزيرة بعيدة وفي يوم من الأيام سمع فطرس ضجيجا في السماء فصاح وقال ما هذا هل أنت جبريل؟ فرد عليه جبريل وقال نعم فقال فطرس ماذا حصل هل قامت القيامة فقال جبريل لا لم تكن القيامة ولكن اليوم ولد مولود عزيز على الله اسمه الحسن فقال فطرس أرجوك أرجوك تكلم إلى الله لكي يصلح جناحي ويسمح لي بأن أذهب إلى رسول الله وأهني. <تصفيق> Translation. The story is long. So guys, there is a there is an angel. His name is Futros. And Futros, he disobeyed Allah. So Allah, he broke. He told him, which one you prefer to do to you? Punish you now or punish you later in the judgment day? The angel Futros, he said now. So Allah, he broke his wings and he sent him to an island in the Caribbean. For sure, the Caribbean this is my addition. <laughs> so he put him in a far, in a far away island. And one day, Futros, he heard noise in the sky. So he said, 
he looked at the sky and he like he saw the angels from far away and he said what happened why there is noise did the judgment day did come to real answer says no it's not the judgment day today the child a born a child of the uh, of, uh, of, uh, of Muhammad so we are going to say like a graduation for you so the angel he said to the to uh, to the angel please can you speak to Allah please please I want to go and do the same I want to go and do the same and then Allah he fixed the, the 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 wings of the angel and the angel he went with the rest of the angels and he entered upon uh, the child and he asked before he entered he asked the prophet he says please 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 prophet can you please let me get in and wave my wings in the top of him like a fan and the prophet said okay sure sure go <laughs> I mean the Shia they have stories nobody can imagine it's beyond the stupidity more than uh, Sunni you think? more than Sunni oh yeah Sunni Sunni are not even close Sunni is like 1% compared to the Shia madness guys what do you want what do you want from the screen I have a I have a uh, I have the ocean for you in the screen I put it there in purpose because there's nothing to show you it's not in English to show you there's a video uh, this is a story I don't have it in English. I can show it to you in video, but video is speak Arabic, you know, which will not make any difference for you. So there is no screen. I put for you the ocean. They are asking me to show the screen. They think the story of Photos is in the screen. Photos is not here now, he's in a vacation. <laughs> anyway, my friend. Well, so, as far as I know, is uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, the, the, what, what about come on, make a decision and say, I am out of Islam, man. Come on, you are smarter than this. I can tell you are already out of it. Why are you are shy to say it? Uh, I know. Uh, I want to. Uh, I want to be uh, hundred uh, percent sure. Oh, but okay. uh, I'm. Uh, you promise I me to call me next political. time I go on air. You promise me to call me next time. No problem. If you are available, but, uh, okay. But then, uh, okay. If uh, if uh, Islam is uh, not the true religion like uh, not uh, Shia nor the Sunni then um, what makes uh, Christianity I mean the, the, well, uh, the you see for me real... for me I have a logic my logic is before I present the Messiah to someone he have to reject the devil first otherwise I'm wasting my time so if you believe in something I prefer to explain what you believe first to show you that you are believing in wrong it's like you know there's a computer and the computer have a virus and you want to install a new software installing new software will not really make a uh, computer healthy still the virus is there so we have to format the computer so as long as still you are thinking not sure of Islam to be 100% then I will save my time for you until you say to me Islam is not the right thing and we can talk about Christianity me and you what do you think and you don't have to believe anyway. I mean, you know, you are a man, you are an adult. God gave you a gift, which is called the brain. Take what you think is right. You know what I mean? Okay, but uh, I mean, uh, um, why is there uh, uh, only one uh, 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 truth? Like uh, Muslims claim uh, Islam is uh, only true. Uh, Shia claim that uh, belief in uh, Muhammad and the uh, imams is as a must uh, and you know like uh, everyone but uh, if you look at uh, uh, hinduism for example mm. uh, they say no um, there are many ways to uh, heaven and uh, you see, i actually okay, look at my, my, friend, my friend my friend the, the Hindu, hinduism is mostly is like a philosophy is not really a religion as much as a philosophy and yoga etc uh, uh, Christianity is different same time anyone can say I am the only one who, who have the right belief right that's that's normal I mean uh, because it, because they cannot be all uh, true one of them have to be right or maybe all of them are wrong you know what I mean so yes. uh, 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 we have to be open for the option of being wrong or being right so we will not say okay only this guy for me I say Christianity is a true one and that's why I believe in it however I understand if people say we don't believe in it, it must be false, no problem. But the, but the, but the issue is, 
what is the purpose of this God you are worshiping? The God of Islam is weird, is, is, is mad. Like uh, the Quran says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْإِنسَ وَالْجِنَّ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I never created man and genie except to worship me. So the purpose of a creation is stupid because God do not need people to worship him for his God anyway. That means his self-esteem person, he in an echo, you know, he like to be worshipped. Muhammad, he said, if you don't commit sin, I assure you that Allah will wipe you out, will destroy you, and create people and bring people who commit sin and ask him for forgiveness. So this God in Islam, he wanted you to commit sin and beg him for forgiveness. This is the point. He want to feel better. He want to feel. He want to be worshipped. It's like there's a there's a there's a guy who is mentally ill. He bring you home and say you have to bow down to me every day. Otherwise, I'm going to destroy you. So this is the point of Islam. Christianity is the opposite. Christianity believe that God is our father in the mean of what he love us the same as his children's We worship him. Yes, we pray for him. Yes, but in return he love us and he uh, he do, he's, he's not he did not create us so we can be uh, Slaves he created us to we can share his kingdom and his love with him So the point of of belief is different and the reason of belief is different Islam is about slavery you live as a slave, you die as a slave, you go to heaven, you are a slave still. Christianity is different belief. Same time, you know, we have tons of reasons to believe Jesus must be God, for he was able to do things nobody can do. And until now, there is miracles happen in the name of Jesus, and nobody can explain. So I which would, one now, for example? Which, which one? The miracles? Uh, miracles yes. Me myself, yes. I witnessed a miracle actually in, 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 in a family member. You know, uh, I don't, you know, I don't like to talk about those things because this is a personal experience. I'm not here trying to make you believe in a miracle happened to me because I'm lying. Maybe I'm lying. Maybe I'm fabricating things. But what I will say to you that when you believe in Jesus, you will live miracles and you will witness miracles yourself. It's not a fiction. It is a true. So there is a huge difference between Christianity. As a fiction and Christianity is reality today there is miracle you can go right now and see and you will find a lot of people they, they face miracles uh, for me I don't like to to speak about them because uh, uh, people they might say look Christian Prince is fabricating a story this can't be true because it's a miracle it's hard to believe it's hard to believe that's why we call it miracle anything we cannot understand how it happened people they call it a miracle so even the Quran which we a book we refuse Believe that Jesus can resurrect people from death People can make can heal the blind can make the blind see can heal the leper can 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 control the nature can tell you what you hide in your houses So and even it says that even the apostles of Jesus which send the three messengers which is sent by Jesus They were able to accomplish miracles in his name and this is all in Islamic books So we have a living God proving himself to us and he witnessed for himself you do not need witnesses and this is what you will notice yourself when you became a Christian I cannot explain to you how you will witness that because you will witness it yourself for it's very hard to explain what I am witnessing because this is something very personal for me I, yes. I will give you many examples. you know I don't like to talk about myself but every day in my life is a miracle Always when something wrong happened the, the the Lord the Lord my God he opened doors for me I Have no money. I am out of money suddenly somebody want to give me money. I don't know why I don't even know the guy I Need someone to translate my book a guy he made fun of me an atheist says why your God don't send me somebody to translate the book I want I open my email. I found somebody saying I want you to translate the book for you it's a miracle. I can I can explain. You know, the Lord He provide me, He give me. So if you want to say this is was a maybe an accident or a consequence, it's a, you know. Then you have to explain. I mean, uh, how 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 the, how it work always. So I have I have an amazing experience with the Lord, and I believe everything I have is a gift from Him to me. The food I eat, the health I have, the knowledge I do, the teaching I teach, and bringing people to Christ is a gift from Him. And I am witnessing for his miracle and this is why I'm defeating Islam every day. I believe even this is a miracle of the Lord Because sometimes mm -hmm. even myself, I don't even I cannot even imagine how fast my thinking is 
to refute a Muslim and I believe that the Lord is guiding me sometimes me myself I get scared of how fast the answer is coming like you are even not finishing the word I get the answer yes hey you know what uh, I, I don't know it's uh, it's actually yeah uh, I find it uh, difficult to uh, explain but uh, it feels really strange to think uh, uh, about that uh, this is all uh, fake and uh, then you feel so empty from inside uh, uh, I don't know uh, how to describe it and then uh, when you then want to leave and uh, you have a family uh, community and uh, my friend, uh, yeah. my friend, the community is not important more than the Lord because the Lord will provide you with bigger community. Here we go. Look how many people are my family here. Look at them. If I say, how many of you want to have me in his house today? I will not be exaggerating if I say a couple of hundreds, they would love to have me sleeping over their house. Don't worry, my friend, about family. The Lord will provide you with better family. The Lord will provide you with better brothers and sisters. My brother is not someone is born of my mother. My brother is someone he helped me when I need him. Many of your family, they might even hurt you in your lifetime. And you know that, right? I'm sure you witnessed to a lot of stories where family hurting each other. I mean, uh, that's true. Uh, <laughs> there are uh, many of those uh, stories. Uh... Yeah. So what? don't worry about the family. You know who said that the family is really is going who you have you will have a better family my family I mean, is... no uh, i mean like <laughs> now you know uh, uh, i feel sad uh, uh, empty uh, uh, i can't uh, no my explain. friend when I... you accept the messiah you will so... be you will be better of the fam you will be with the family of jesus the christ himself you will not be empty you will not feel alone here we go i live in my house alone i'm not alone I have never been alone. I never felt lonely. I've, I never felt alone. I never felt empty. I am always happy with what I have. That's why when I speak to Muslims like you or anyone, I speak with confidence. Because if you don't have, you cannot give. How you can teach about something you don't have? How you want to tell me about something you don't have yourself? So if I don't have it, I cannot give it to you. So my friend, don't don't worry about that. And for me, you know, this is why I, I always I would love to invite Muslims to accept Jesus. And I invite you right now as we speak to accept him. And you will see that the Messiah is the best to follow. There is no one better under the sun or above in heaven, better than his name. This is not fiction. This is not a mythology statement of a God I do not know. You will see right away the different. You will be a different person immediately. And that is an additional miracle of God he do to you. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, I don't uh, want to uh, make it uh, late for you, like uh, maybe you have uh, other things too, but um, maybe uh, if you could name uh, some uh, uh, the main uh, points against uh, Shia Islam in uh, okay, my friend. Let us do uh, this. You call me, and, you, then, you call me in, you call me and then I will go. Yeah, and then uh, I, uh, I will go to there's nothing uh, scored against, against the Shia Islam, my friend. There's, there's against Islam. Islam is with my respect to you. Don't be insulted, please. Please, you're a kind man. I'm not trying to insult you. Islam is garbage. It doesn't matter if it's Shia or Sunni. This is why I focus in the Quran more than other reference because. You can say, oh, I'm Shia, I don't accept this. You can say, I am a Sunni, I don't accept Shia. What about the Quran? So if you have no Quran and you are the one who agreed that the, even Shia say Quran is corrupted, so how Shia can be exist if there's no Quran? How we can be how we can believe in something if we don't have a book to believe in? You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, uh, they say like... Uh... Uh, they, they, uh, there's a... Uh, um... Uh, hadith is called uh, let me recall uh, uh, Thakalain. Thakalain. Hadith Thakalain, yeah. 
yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, that uh, but, actually, but, if you, but, yeah. But you know, you believe you, you you base a belief a religion on the hadith. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but I mean, uh, that's uh, what they say. You know, uh, I, I don't have much. See, about, this is one. Uh, this is one. Make, this is one of the funny things about about Islam. How you know? How you? Okay. L l this, the hadith you mentioned to me, which it says "Kitabullah wa itrati," correct? Yes. Okay. This hadith itself is a joke because if the Shia themselves agree that the book of Allah is gone, so how you say my religion is based on the Kitabullah and itrati? And my family if if all of them are gone there's no family is, is stay and there's no book is when the book is gone so what is left of Islam hmm. they say like the the uh, tafasir of the uh, Imams like <laughs> you see but no problem no no problem but if the Shia and you agree with me the Shia believe that the book of Allah is corrupt correct yes okay and the family of Muhammad are dead correct Mm -hmm. So what if what is left of Islam? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> books, they say books what like books? Yeah. the books is corrupt. Yeah. If the Quran, the most holy book, is corrupt, how we can trust the rest? If the book of Allah Himself is gone, no, so what true. we will do now? We worship the book of Al Kafi. The Kafi will be our God. Hmm. No, uh, I agree. But yeah, if you like, if you have uh, additional. Uh, Okay, uh, my friend, things, let us do this. Again. Next time, yeah, call me. Next, uh, next, time will, call uh, me. next time, call me, and we will go more in detail. As you are a very nice person, I really am happy to talk to you. You, you sound okay, like you're from a good family. You know, you, you can tell right away when you speak to a person if he is coming from a good ground. You see, every, every one of us is coming from somewhere, and you can tell right away that this person is coming from a good ground. He have a good family. He is not a trashy person. His family are not garbage. So, you know. I will be happy always to talk to you. Call me next time and give me a question about something you have a confusion about it or about Quran. And let us focus in something. Let us say, what make you stay as not, you don't make decision yet? Like what make you not leaving and say, I am out? We can focus on that and see how we can help you with. Is that good? Okay. All right, my friend. Thank you very much for calling. I appreciate your call. And we will pray for you, my friend, and all the Christians here will pray for for you and to find the truth and may the Lord set you free and make you free okay. of all of all cults around the world. Thank you very much. Take care. Thank you very much. Right. Take care. Very nice, very nice gentleman, right? We have to agree. This person, yes, he is a Muslim, but he is different. You can tell right away that there is people who they are different. And we appreciate the honest ones. You see, my problem with Muslims is not speaking to them. My problem is honesty. You cannot find honesty. It's like struggling. I don't debate Muslims. This is the problem. There's no debate. You say debate is someone between two believers. He say the truth about what he believe. I say the truth about what I believe. But the Muslims, they don't do that. This is why when you find a Muslim who is honest, uh, sorry, we will, not, we, will, we will not take more calls for today. No, 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 we have enough for today, sorry. We have enough for today. Uh, we are already for many hours. And honestly, somebody is waiting for me in the bathroom. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, correct? <laughs>
All right, sorry for this. <laughs> uh, you know, before you go in the bathroom, as you remember, you have to recite a certain prayer. Otherwise, shaitan is going to play with your bum, as the prophet he said. And because I'm aware of such a danger, then I had to recite that prayer before I go to the bathroom. Be careful, my friend. There's a very much too much danger involved in your trip to the bathroom. And one of the reasons Muhammad he says those stupid things, uh, because he wants the Muslims not to use his brain, he wants him to focus in silly stuff. Uh, Muhammad in the hadith he says, before you go to the bathroom, you have to say a certain prayer. Let me see if I can find you. Hadith in English. <coughs> Here we go. If you want to go to the bathroom, the Prophet said, on entering the bathroom, you used to say, Allahumma a'udhu bika min al-khubthi wal khabaith. O oh Allah, I seek refuge with you from the devil, male and female, or all offense of the wicked things. Where in the bathroom? The bathroom is where the devil headquarters. And this is why I advise all of you when you go in the bathroom to be very careful. This is why when I went to the bathroom right now, and there's 800 of you who knows what I did, I had to be very careful and take extra caution, like uh, 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 steps. You have to do certain things, otherwise you will be at risk. Shaitan, by the way, if you go inside the bathroom and you don't say this prayer, he will go inside your bowels and he will play with your anus. And you know how dangerous that is. Actually, there's videos on YouTube about it. All right. So obviously, Muhammad is a true prophet. And here we go. The story here prove it. All those fiction stories, superstition stories, proving to us Muhammad is nothing but a collector of stupid stuff. All right. Uh, Look, all those stories, look. Same, there is a prayer you have to say before you have intercourse with your wife. Otherwise, shaitan will wrap himself around your penis and he will be doing your wife. Which means, the first one who created condom, it was Allah, Prophet. Anyway, guys, I hope we have a good time together today. I got to go we are here for many hours and I did not eat yet and I have a book to work in and finish before the Christmas so I want to say thank you for being here tomorrow I would do my best to be here too please subscribe and join us and uh, turn on your notification don't forget to subscribe to my other account which is not in YouTube it is in minds.com this is like a backup account I post always there when I go on air so in case you lost me, you do not know how to find me, always you can go to minds.com and you will find what is the active channel of Christian Prince. So go there, subscribe, you will lose nothing. You know, it's very simple, it costs you no money. It's the same as Facebook and it's very easy to join. All right. So subscribe there, join us so you can be informed in case you lost connection. Thank you very much, guys, for being here. May the Lord bless you. And again, we pray for this gentleman who called us that soon he will know the truth and the truth will set him afraid. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. I mean to that. See you soon again. Bye-bye. Take care.